Alright. So, uh, which one of my two players who's been here for the past couple of sessions would like to explain what happened last session? Uh, I think. Hmm. Roxy, would you like to try your, try your hand at it? Uh, sure. Hold on. Let me pull up my notes. The bare minimum of notes that I took. Um. Oh, it was mostly just me. Uh, uh, like, uh, writing down the people that we met. Um. We met Carver, the halfling. Marvin the Moon Elf. You met, you met, yes, you you did meet one of the noble families. The other two you haven't met yet. Yeah. Um. Or rather, we met, um, we didn't actually meet the Marvins, I don't think. We met no. the Dinars. Yeah, you met the Dinars, not the Marvins or Carvers. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Sorry, go ahead. No, yeah. you're good. No, you're good. Uh, uh, Car, uh, Car, do you want to take off from here? Or... Sure. All right, let me meet myself. We've done some more year one things. Finished year one. Yes, you have finished year one. Uh, a lot more people came into town. Mm -hmm. And we investigated uh, a string of disappearances that happened around town. We talked to three people. We talked to Takeshi. Uh, Nerul and Nol. Kisa. Kisa. I love Nerul. And Nol. learned that it was actually Nerul that was the one that was linked to, uh, the disappearances. Turns out that this being that's doing this is, uh, called the Guardian. Uh, and he wants to draw us out so he could kill Nerul and become this other being called the Harbinger. Which is supposed to save Acrea from destruction. And even if we deal with the Guardian, he will just go back. Uh, we managed to disrupt the disappearances, but at the cost of Nerul and Thrin's time at Leowin. Yes, I'm still charging. Do you need it? Uh, yeah, you need it. Go. Also, also, last, last but not last least, Ayla came, came home to give and gave presents, presents to all the friends, all the friends that, he that he made in Leowin. Yes, that that's important. Speaking, Speaking of which, which Calvin, yo, boots of elven kind. That's the present. Hey, <laughs> hell yeah. No, he didn't choose it. I just chose it. Um, and also, um, come on, come on. Uh, last but not also, as you guys got to the second year and were and were having and were and were uh, a month after the great renewal, um, a volcano went off to the far north. Mm. I know Mount Vinro, as it were, and and it obliterated. Most, if not all, of the northern kingdom of the northern kingdoms that were near the mountains, and that's where we're starting off. As as we're gonna head into the month of Atro, uh, which, by the way, that reminds me, for your fir for your first payment for the month, you all you guys all get. Give me a second. I'll go look at this. Assets. There you are. E so, actually, wait. Before we start this off, um, it's time for a return to city building. Yay! Okay. Because currently, you guys stand. So currently, you got. So I'm going to open back up the Baldurian, the Baldurian um, city section. And since the castle is almost complete, since we're entering year two, I will say that you now get your bonuses for it, where you get a where all your stats for the city go up go up by three. Which if, any of, you, if any of you are looking for the sheets for the city and stuff, it's in the Leowin um, sheet that's pinned in 
should be should be uh, Castle Leowin. Mm-hmm. Oh man, we really need to up our religion. Yeah. Yeah, your religion is kind of. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna open that back up, which it, which there should be a folder linked in uh, Castle Leowin to all the books that we're using. I hope anyway, because if not, then shit. In Castle Leowin, there's. Leowin, plans and rune spreadsheets, so... Uh, not, not pin then? Doesn't look like it. Alright, then let me... Grab a link to that. I hear it is. Not that one, rare. So I will say I will say this much that um, that it looks like judging so as the as the second month begins so let's start with some prefacing um, you guys start hearing a lot of rumors about there being a flood of refugees from from the mountains um, Hanak seeing the chaos has decided that it's going to invade the non-existent kingdoms anymore and start taking swaths of land all, all over the north. Means is, which that which means there's going to be a lot more people entering entering into your lands. Currently, you guys have not been hit by any of it since it's just started, but you might want to prepare for it nonetheless. So one thing that I do know is that one thing that I do know is that Aldwin Perry wanted to start building houses to rent. Okay. Which just. Which, just to let you know, it's going to co so for uh, so when you rent a house, you get fifty gold a month from each house, and to buy a rent house, it's going to cost five hundred gold. Currently, currently, your guys' total supply, without splitting it up, without splitting it up, is fifty four thousand six hundred and sixty gold. You could take from that amount, or you could take from your own gold amount. Hmm. I'm good with spending some of my gold. I got like 23k right now. Uh, I, <laughs> how I many houses would you like to have built? Because currently you guys have 375 houses. And, and that's not gold? to rent. That's not rented. Those... These those are living. Those are houses yeah. that people own themselves. Okay. Oh wait, so are we building the rental ones or the regular ones then? Which one? Rental one or Perry wants to build the rental ones. Yep, but you can also uh... build you can also build normal ones if you want. Okay. Um, I'll chip in to make, uh, how much are the rental homes? Uh, 500? okay, yeah, 500 gold. Okay, so I'll do, let me calculate this real quick. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, also, I, I was slightly off. It's five hundred gold for for each home in general, because two because one BP a thousand gold is equal to two houses. So yeah, rental and normal houses are the same price. I will chip in to build fifteen of those houses. All right, are those going to be rental or or ho or homes that people get to have? Uh, I'll make. Eight of them regular homes and seven of them rental. Eight of them regular, seven rental. Okay, so that's you said fifteen, correct? Yep. So that's seven thousand five hundred gold. Seven thousand spending. All right. 
Um, sorry, I just need to do the math real quick for how much, how many houses there are now. 700. 707. Alright, plus 15. Alright, there are now 390 homes in Leowin. And you said seven of them are rental? Yeah, seven of them are rental. And eight of them are regular. Alright, you guys are... Okay, that means you guys are earning. You, that means... Alright, no, that's 77. Jesus. So I have 15... 720 left. Alright. You guys are you guys are currently making um, three hundred and fifty gold per month. All right, I guess I'll fork over ten k to do ten or twenty homes. All right, so twenty seven. That increases to one thousand three hundred fifty. And Samson, how much gold do you want to fork over? Oh well, three thousand gold. Uh, Roxy built 15 houses, but seven of them were rental, eight of them were for people just to live in normal. Uh, Gabe built 20 rental houses. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do five normal homes, 15 rental. Okay, so that's gonna be 22 then. Yeah. Alright, so, so that's that 15 rental now. Alright. It costs 1,000 gold for two houses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, rentals cost the same price, but you guys get fifty gold a month per per house that you're renting out. Hmm. I only get seven k gold. Uh, seven k gold a month. Yeah, but this is this is this is from your current gold amount, not from what you're about to get, unless you want to dip into that. Because I'm pretty sure everyone has a high amount of gold right now, correct? I have 36k mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. Seven thousand, seven k. Okay. Well, do you want to build six rental homes? All right. You guys are currently up to 28 rental homes now, thanks to a donation from Searson. Uh, I would like to add, let me, before I add in that, so 28. Um, so you said you gave six rental homes? Okay, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post how much gold you guys make before the rental homes are built for the previous month. So, this is how much you guys are getting. I posted All in right. BC. Posted in BC That's how guys. much gold we're getting. Mm hmm The first decimal uh, is silver. The first decimal is silver. Second decimal is copper. You know what? I'll just write it out. And do I have to subtract like my cost of living or whatever? Nope, because I already wrote that into the sheet, so it already does it for you. Let's see. And then twenty-eight rental homes. So we're currently up to 418 homes in Leowin, which means your population has increased to, we're assuming a ratio of 2 to 1 for 2 adults, 1 child, 3 times 4, 1, 8, 1,254 at least. All right. How many do we need for to be able to make city stuff? Uh, okay, so a city, I believe, was... 5k people? Uh, does someone want to check Baldurian's guide for me? I th actually, yeah, I'll just open that one. Give me a second. Okay. Where is it? <sighs> That's open with touch ID. Okay, yeah. So, oh gosh. Uh, okay, so village is less than a thousand. Town is less than six thousand. City is less than twenty-five k. And Metropolis is over twenty five k. Also, there are there are in between there are in between levels for those towns and stuff because um, our goal has it to where you have to pay money to expand your town plot wise. So I'm also counting that in as well. Which reference for that one? Let me see. So currently, you guys, I would say, are a small town, correct? I believe so, since our population is over a thousand. I remember. Right. Correctly. 
So at some point, with the flood of people that you guys are going to get, you guys are going to have to expand once more. Which, come on, load. I can't even open the the kingdom building thing because it's too big a file. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> yeah. I know that, I think on the phone it can load in, it just takes a bit. Why is it not? Mm. Give me a second, my phone is not connecting to... There we go, okay. I'll keep that up. Come on, our goals. Come on. I'm gonna have to open this thing online. But wait. Okay, computer, don't don't chug on me now. Okay, so currently you guys are a small town, but once you guys start approaching 2,000 people, 2,500 people, you will have to expand once more. Alright. Which, that will cost you, it will cost you 27,500 gold. 27,500 gold to become, to go from a small town to a large town. 25k. All right. I'm gonna just take a picture of this right now, so that way. There we go. Okay. So, um, okay. So. Since since this stuff is going on and since the since the volcano will be causing issues, Alar Alar and a couple of your advisors are going to suggest that you start looking more into food and the like. Sorry, say again. Alar Alar as your guys' advisor is gonna suggest that maybe Leo and start getting more into food because because since that volcano erupted, the, a lot of from what Thrin's calculations seem to tell you and what his magic seems to tell you, it's likely that 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 Acre is going to be, that the region's going to be getting colder for at least two years. Mm. Which means it might get harder to grow food, which means there might be a chance of people starving. I'm sorry, it might get what you cut out? It might, it might get, it's going to get colder, yeah. which means it's harder to grow food, which means there's more of a chance of people starving. Mm. And currently you guys rely a lot, a lot on a fish farm and grain farm. You have four of each. And he's suggesting that maybe we start looking into other alternatives. Hmm. I propose that maybe, uh, just speedballing here, that, um, we take, uh, what we have now of, like, fully grown grains and put them, like, like, stockpile them for later in a guarded, uh, area and, like, keep it for later. Kind of like a granary? Yeah, uh, ALR suggests. Yeah. Yes. It's, um... Uh, so, in case our uh, anything, uh, like any of the f current crops get destroyed in the winter, that we can, uh, you know, keep them, uh, have something for later. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you think? What do you think, Susan? Um, when he suggests that we start harvesting a bunch of grain and start putting it away to stockpile. I'd say, like, maybe a third of it? A fourth of it, maybe? Does this culture... Or do these people know about potatoes? I... We're doing... I thought we had only grains. I was saying, like, we could start importing uh, potatoes to start making, like, potato farms so we can have food for the winter. Would that be a grain or a crop farm? I think that would be a crop. Okay. Okay. So in that case, you can, and a grain farm will cost you. No, a crop farm will cost you twelve BP, which is twelve thousand gold. Okay. Uh, is it per per crop farm? Yeah. Yeah. Per crop farm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. Out of character, I stole that idea from Joseph, Prince of Dreams, or King of Dreams, or whatever. You're good. 
Oh, that <laughs> reminds me, you also need to buy plots for farm. Give me a second. Uh, as master, as minister of the interior, I definitely should be doing that. <laughs> how many? How many? How many crop farm? How many crop farms do you want to build? Um, depends. All right. Well, hmm. as much as we'll probably sustain them. Yeah, because each because each plot because okay i think i think the rule is there's you get one farm plot per farm okay and one farm plot costs five thousand gold so 17k for a single uh farm. yes yeah for a single for a single crop farm currently all right so that's what was it that's eight and a half k if it were to be split but Wait, we could. We also have the party funds as well. You actually also you have also your establishment in in your stronghold has made four thousand gold thus far. Allison will add in. Ooh. It earns one thousand gold every three months. Currently, since it's been a year, you guys have stockpiled four thousand gold. All right. Okay. So okay. we can take either all of that or a cut of that to put forward for the farm. Mm-hmm. Would you guys be okay with like using all the four thousand from that, or? Yeah, I'm fine. I I can also uh, I can also use some of my money as well. Yeah, because like after the four thousand, it's just thirteen k left. Yeah. So I'll put forward uh four thousand k myself right uh, now. I uh so they're gonna be so just did you hear what they said, Car? Or... Base. Okay, basically, 4,000, basically, okay, so they're going to use all the 4,000k from the establishment to, to pay off some of the grain farm thing, and Whitney's putting forward another 4,000, which means that there's 7,000 gold left that needs to be paid off. You could fork over some 4k if you want to, wait, Car, I'm like, are like, do you want to pay for this, or do you want me to handle the rest? Wait, I thought the total was 17. Yeah. Okay. So, so 4 and 4, that's 8, so 9 left, right? Yeah. Yeah, nine left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you so... said seven, so that, that that messed me up. I was like, I was like wait. <laughs> you're good. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, you're fine. We all get math wrong sometimes. Hey, so, Car, would you be comfortable, uh, sp or Searson, would you be comfortable spending any money for this, or would you like me to handle the rest? It'd be best if you handle this right now. All right then. Or perhaps if someone else could, like, um, another party member? Uh, currently... I don't know if I want to spend any of the other party members' gold currently. Yeah. We also have the, like, didn't you say Doesn't we had, like, Allison that 50k party hmm? stock file? Oh, no, no, oh, no, that, that net GP income is how much your entire group makes before you start splitting it up, start giving oh, it to other party okay. members, okay. before we split it up all before right. all of you. So since you guys got yeah. your gold amount, that means they got theirs, too. Gotcha. Yeah. Actually, right. Ellison, Ellison does have gold left over from back before when she was adventuring with you guys. I think she has about three. I think she has three thousand gold, maybe. I can handle the rest of the nine k. Uh, well, she's gonna put forward three thousand. So that way you don't. So that way you only you only have to spend yeah. six thousand. Appreciated. All right. Everyone I've... say thank you, Ellison. Thank you, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> if Jules was here, she would love it. I'm sure. All right. So that's All another. Right. That's another... All right, so that's another farm plot and one crop farm currently. Mm -hmm. So that will give you an extra 10, that will give you an extra 10 units a month, which bring your current total of GP per month is 8,577 per person. Nice. You got you guys have gone up nearly you have gone up 700 gold. Mm. Cool. So we're going to keep that in mind. Um uh, do you guys want to look into the Baldurian's Guide thing, or do you want to wait till others are here for that one? Because that one might be a bit more... Because that's going to take a lot more cross-referencing for the book, I think. I'd like to wait, yeah. Okay, I was one... looking at, uh, since we have low religion, I was looking at the religious buildings, mm -hmm. and, like, I'm thinking a ch Wait, do we have a church? Got a you have a church. chapel. Chapel, yeah. graveyard, and reliquary. Alright, well, a church would be pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. How much, how much does it require? Uh... You need a chapel mm -hmm. and a religion score of five or higher, which we have. Yeah, Increase the religion by one, and it gives us advantage on religion checks. All right, um, that will take one of your decrees. Are you cool with that? I'm fine with that. Well, that that that's just my suggestion for now. 
Oh, All wait. Right. How many decrees do we have? You have two decrees. Um, and you have... Oh, yeah, that's right. You have the best bid on workers still. Um, and I think it's two free buildings? Can we use that as one of our free buildings? That'll work, yeah. Uh, uh, is everyone else okay with that, rather? I'm fine. Uh, 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 Sielsen? are you cool with using one of the free buildings for Leowen to make a chap to make a church? I mean... Okay, so let's get them increased by nine. You now, does does the church does the does the church replace the chapel or no? No, it's a. It looks like it's a separate building. I think they're like connected. All right, there or like go. it's two Our different temple. buildings in the same church. facility. You know yeah, that. Same you know chapel. that Pino is definitely happy about that because that means she has a much larger place to, to for people to worship. Oh, what was the name of the hot guy? Wait, hold up. Oh, Ariel. <laughs> Ariel. Bible man! Yeah, Ariel Ariel is also pleased about that. Why did he look like again? He was like, yeah, uh, what? okay, a young, pale, white-skinned elf with silver-red eyes and refined black hair. Scars adorn his body. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, but besides that, we're gonna leave the- um, Gabe, do you mind doing me a favor? Yo. Dion hated his Cop guts. Copy and paste the the description, the trait and description for the church thing, like the advantage thing, and send that to me so I can add that in. All right. So. Anyway. All right. Um. But besides that, so we're gonna wait for the others for the rest of it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. So with that done, what do you guys want to do for the month? Okay. Um. Yes. If any of y'all want to go first, you can. Uh. Well, oh, I uh, I have my list of things to do. All right. Uh, what's first on the docket then? Uh, I'll learn Goblin first, all and right, then I'll so, go carousing afterwards. All right. So you're gonna learn that from Alar, correct? Yes. Okay. So that is going to. Okay. So that. So what's your intelligence modifier? Uh, plus two. Okay. So that's gonna take you eight work weeks to learn Goblin, and it's gonna cost you twenty five gold per work week. That's a total of I think two hundred gold that it's gonna cost you. Doable. All right, so it's gonna take you it's gonna take you forty days. All it's, right. five, it's five days per work week, so keep that in mind. Two hundred gold, so let's change that to a four. Alright. So boom. Goblin right. has been added. Alright. Uh anything else you'd like to do there? Uh well, there's the carousing portion, but I guess that could be handled later. Yeah, Magic items to oh, pursue, yeah. well, and actually, also yeah, my yeah. personal quest. Actually, yeah, because your your thing for this month is currently busy, so... Yeah. With that, uh, Searson, what do you want to do for the month? Uh, it's starting to get cold. Yeah, Thwin, Thwin, Thwin used his magic and some deductive reason, and he realized that for the next two years, Acquia in the region is gonna get, get is gonna get colder. Okay. Um. Well, I guess it might be imperative to get some sort of magic items to pursue. The volcano. It was to the north of. Uh, it's north of where you guys are. Actually, I'll show you the map. Um. Give me a second real quick. Sorry, right, we're checking in with uh, Kara's headphones real quick just to see how charged they were. All right. Um, do you want to say that over Discord again? Do you want to say that over Discord again? Um, so what were you going to ask? I was going to ask. I was going to ask what you were going to do for the month. Like, 
currently Kaladin spending eight work weeks. So, Kaladin, are you going to spend like five days a week doing that? Sure. Okay, so that's going to take you two months then. Um, so, Sirson, what do you want to do? Um, what area is most impacted by the volcano? Uh, it was mainly other nations and Hanak. And the Northern Lords have basically rounded up forces and are basically taking whatever territories territories left over that wasn't destroyed by the volcano. Um, let me get a map of, let me grab that map of Leowen that I, I mean of Acria that I have right now. Um, so, do, 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 copy link. If you guys will look in image chat for me. So you see that mm. so you see that volcano that's north of Hanak? It's like the one little it's like the one little black symbol in the middle of all the mountains. Mm. That volcano went off. And basically all those mountains over and basically Amna and Nelha, both of those nations were absolutely obliterated. Because their capital centers were next to the mountains. Wonderful. So basically, those two nations are gone, and Hanak is invading the north now. Uh, God damn, no mercy. <laughs> yeah, ever eager. Well, no, it's just because like there's no order there anymore, so they're go so they need to instill order, and it's free territory. So the northern lords are like, hey, why not? They're gonna take whatever good stuff's left. Mm. Um, the, it's um, it's a it's a volcano. Uh, if you look where Hanak is and look and look north of it, it's like a little volcano sticking in the middle of the mountain. That thing went off, and Amna and Nelha, along with a few other minor nations, were completely destroyed. The volcano is the belly button in the mountains. Hmm. I yes, I should have made it bigger. <laughs> I should have made it bigger, but like this was a big map of Acria, so I didn't want to make it too big. But yeah, basically that entire region is basically just ash. Yeah. Oof. Anyway, but so what did you want to do, Sirson? Well, I want to see with the lords who are in that direction, see if we can break our idea, if we can get some more land on our side. You want to try and grab? Well, well give my that's to the, the far. It's it's, it's farther, farther north, north than. Oh no, that's not affecting me. Um, that's farther north than what than where you guys are, because you guys are like almost like at the southern tip. You want to try and grab land to the to the north that's not connected to you guys. Mm, if not, let's see if we get broken down you know, to cultivate and st uh, in cultivate the land in return for some money. Actually, Actually I, will, I say, will say. So you want to look into that, correct? As you're thinking about that plan, uh, I was kind of hoping to wait till Perry's here, but I'll proc this early because because it's still important. Um, so actually, the Lions of Leowin get a letter. Let me, let me copy it. Let me just copy this link real quick. Uh, Sirison, I'm guessing since you're the ambassador, you'll be the one that wants to read it. Mm, sure. All right. Uh, let me just message you. was expecting it. Nice letter here. <laughs> <laughs> to Lord Hollywood and the Lions of Leowen, I send this letter not only as myself, but as a representative of what will hopefully be a growing power in Hanosian politics. While the North carves out chunks of territory, we would be rem remiss. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're getting fancy here. Mm -hmm. We'd be remiss if uh, we didn't take an opportunity to gain power for ourselves. The South stands at a precarious, uh, precarious precision. Imueg, uh, to our South, means we can't hope to match their military might unless the whole kingdom is on our back. And that would be costly and time-consuming. That could destroy us all if we're not careful. There is <clears> another <throat> matter, though, west of us. Quag? Yeah. Quag stands. They have had our eye. Uh, we, they have had their eyes set on the claim yard. Claim yard? Yep, claim yard. Claim yard? 
Claim Yard River for some time. The same river that keeps Leowen. Wow. Jesus Christ and Ulegula afloat. As such, maybe it's time the Hanushian border spreads westward. But we cannot hope to do this alone. It's time for southern, the southern lords to make a play of their own. I, for one, will not sit idly by and allow other lords to grow more powerful than us and threaten everything we have taken time to build. <coughs> this is why I, Gren, Jiro, oh, this is why I ask that you, Gren, Jiro Lu, you, and myself to have a meeting in Leowen to discuss our plan of action. If we can convince the Queen on a united front, maybe we will be able to carve territory for ourselves and give even more protection for our people. Yours in confidence, Lord Canaris Nilwa, Guardian of the South and Count Venus. Will you show us the, will you show will the, you show the rest of the party? I spoke it, so therefore. Alright, well. I'm going to paste that. <laughs> just in case I wasn't clear to you. No, you were clear. I just want so that I can read it too. I, I enjoyed hearing Searson read that letter. But yes. No, no. That yeah, was nice. It was very dignified. Mm. Yeah, You're quite. very dignified. It was a leech speaking. I'll have to pass a layer as well. Lead speak? Oh my god. Elite speak? <laughs> yeah. Elite speak. <laughs> I see you're an elite. Hmm. <laughs> I yeah, see yeah. you are a man of elite. Aeneas? Yeah, Count, Count Nilula has, oh, me... has sent this letter to you all. And um, I would like to add that currently... Ugh, why did you go to sleep? Um, sorry, one of my dads went to sleep. Um, currently, they're hoping <clears throat> this, that this meeting can be set for the fall of 502. And it's the. It's currently the. It's currently the winter. It's currently the beginning winter of. It's currently the winter of five oh two. The beginning winter because it's currently the second month. Okay, and they want to. So basically, in around like six to seven months. Yes, they want to meet. They want to have a meeting in Leowin and basically <laughs> discuss and basically discuss um Matt discuss expanding westward. Hmm. I see. Basically, basically, basically using the chaos in the north to their advantage, and to also that way, because because Halog does own a huge chunk of the river that, and it flows through both your lands and their lands. So, getting complete control over it would be quite. Getting complete control of it might be a good start for you all, especially if you can expand mm. up the river. I see. The lords, the lords mentioned were Baron Gren. Count Nalua, Baron Jiro, and Bar and Count Lu. Gren, Gren, and Gren and, Gren and Nalua, you all, you two have already spoken to. Um, you know that Jiro was the one who owned Unigula before you all, you know, de de devastated it. And Count Lu, Count Lu, as Searson would know and would probably explain to the group, and Kaladin would figure out as he's built up aspiring, Count Lu was a, is the lord of the province north of you all, and he has had his eye on your province for some time. And he was not rather pleased when you, when, when, when Aldwin was named the lord of Slahora and, and the owner of Leowen. So it seems like a southern a southern a southern front might be starting, if you guys are able to get your hands on that. So for now, so for now, uh, do you guys want to slate that for the fall of five hundred two, or do you guys want to try and schedule it sooner or later? Fall, I think, would be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. It also gives us time more time to prepare. All right, Searson. Do you want to schedule it for the fall of five hundred two or earlier? Or later. Alright, fall it is. Um, but with that, that is one, that's technically something that picks up on your end for speaking to the other lords, but do you still want to speak to them? And start speaking to other allies and the like? Would you like to carouse then? Mm. Mm. Carousing means you start gaining contacts. Partying. Not exactly, but you can. But you can party to, to start getting contacts. Let me look at the carousing. 
All right, where's the nearest frat house? Oh, my God. Nowhere near here, probably, because I don't feel like getting COVID. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Citizen, would you like to do that? Yeah. All right. Would you like to carouse with the upper class? Lower, middle, or upper class? Oh. Good question. I can only choose what. What are the benefits of each? Well, you get contacts in either or. In either one. Well, you don't have that many upper class contacts, do you? No, you do not currently. Yeah. All right. Upper class will cost you 250 gold per work week when you carouse yeah. with them. Thankfully, since you have the noble back, since thankfully since you have the noble background, you don't have to worry about getting sufficient contacts to to speak, mingle with the upper class. You can already do it. Okay, I'll take care of the rich people, so y'all don't have to. All right. Um. Let me see. Okay, so let's see how this works. Um. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Um, okay, what's your charisma modifier? Oh, sure. uh -huh. You can make two con. You're going to be able to make two contacts because you can make a number of you can make a number of contacts equal to one plus your charisma modifier. However, specific and name contacts do not add to that list, just to let you know. Alright, um, okay, so, um, it doesn't give, does it just take one work week? Yeah, it just takes one work week, okay. So, how many work weeks do you want to spend doing that? Well, actually, do you want to see how the first one goes before you... Okay, uh, well then, alright, so, roll me a persuasion check. And take 250 gold out of your inventory. Huh? Prepare your Go ahead. Um, while you're doing that, Whitney, what would you like to do? Uh, I had this for a sec. Um, first, I want to explore. <clears throat> hey, how how long would you like to explore? Hey. Uh, does it take work weeks? Uh, I will say it will. Yes. I'll do two work weeks, um, exploring. Okay. Where would you like to explore? The farmlands. Uh, the farmlands that Leo and owns? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to need you to roll me a wisdom survival. No, roll me a charisma survival check. So you're going to use your charisma modifier for survival instead of wisdom. Okay. A save, like a save, or huh? No, charisma. No survival check. So you're gonna make a survival check, but with, but with charisma instead of wisdom. So my plus five. Yeah. Uh, Sixteen. Take a little back. All right, with sixteen. All right, sixteen. Um. Okay. So you're. So you go around. Do you? All right. So you go around. So you said you're gonna spend two weeks. Two work weeks doing that. Yes. Okay. So you travel around, and thankfully, and thankfully, um, due to Kaladin, due to Kaladin wanting that extra potato farm, you ha you know, you're you're seeing that the potato farm is start. You see an import of potato farms over the course of the month, and that they're starting to set it up. Thankfully, they had to. You had to get them from some far off lands in a way because elves were not used to cultivating potatoes that much where you're at. Mm hmm. Um, twenty. All right. Um, what else was there? Um, actually, let me roll on the exploration table. You do run into Takeshi while you're out there, funnily enough. Oh, wait. Where, where is he? What is he doing? Oh, no. You were wandering the farmland, and basically you saw Takeshi out there also kind of like um, exploring. Hello. Oh, hey. Are you exploring as well? Yes, just just checking out things. Heard some rumors around. Heard some rumors around. Oh, did I? Roll? I rolled. Oh my god, I rolled max. Holy shit! 
Oh no. <laughs> what does that mean? Hold up. What does that what mean? What does it mean? Uh... <laughs> what are you even rolling for? Oh! Okay, so this procked early. This oh, procked no. earlier than I expected. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, while you and Takeshi are exploring together, you discover mm -hmm. that there's a band, that there's a bandit, that there's a bandit camp that has been found. But it is a mixture of, of, of goblinoids from Merrick's Legion that fled, and members of the flame, and members of the flame guard that survived the, the battle at Unigula. Hmm. Do uh, uh, so we discover them like we know exactly their location. Yes. Do you report this I, back? To the, do you report this back to the others? I kind of ask Takeshi what he wants to do at first. Uh, Takeshi kind of looks at them and he says, and he kind of, and then he sees that they're, and then he kind of looks at. It, he says, mm, "Too fortified for my liking." I could do it, mm -hmm. but it'd be messy. Yes, maybe we should get the others. Yeah, I think I think that general boy of yours might want to look into this situation. Mm. Uh, all right, let's head back. Let, let's head back to town. And let him know. Okay. And Searson, um, with your dirty twenty, you are able to make do. do, 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 do. Sorry, so let me just see this real quick. You are able to make. Two allied contacts. So you make the max amount you're able to make. Um, what areas would you like them, be, like them to be located in? Alright, uh, would you like to do... Well, you do know... I would recommend West, considering that you might start expanding out that way, but you can... All right, so you want to make some friends in Baron Grin's land? All right, I will say that you make a Lupin contact and an Elven contact out west. All right. Um, but with that, as you as you as you could return from your carousing, um, actually, what do you want to do with for the second week? Actually. Okay. Okay. Then spend another two fifty and vo spend. So spend. That's that's another seven hundred fifty gold. So that's a total of one thousand for the month, and that's gonna be uh, give me another three um, persuasion rolls, and just message me what you roll for that. But as you but th in the middle of the week, um, while you're do while you're while you're training to learn goblin with uh, Alar Kaladin, and while C and Searson, while you're able to write it, tell me, message me. Um, and seriously, while you're um, sort of trying to carouse with nobles, Whitney and Takeshi return and let you guys know that a bandit camp has been found. Particularly one, particularly one manned by, manned by, um, manned by, actually no, I'll let Whitney explain this one. Please. All right. So there were, there were goblins from that fleet from before and flame gods. Uh, like both of them from uh, battles that we'd fought, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And they seemed heavily fortified, so we came back to tell you. Um. God, what were those rolls? So. <laughs> Car rolled three nat twenties in a row. Bro, oh, how'd Jeez. you do that? Jeez. Wait, like, we're using the we're using the black dice? We we're, we're using the black dice? Fucking called it. Those black Okay, yeah. Yeah, those those three those three black dice my black dice always roll high for some reason. Bro. Okay. So, um so yes, um when you guys explain this, Alar Alar is an a lot of the council kind of wants to um, deal with them now, and Thren's immediately uh, Thren is Im immediately steps up when he hears about. It. He's like, I'm willing to deal with them, or send or lead a lead a force to deal with them. Are you sure? I am the general, after all, aren't I? I mean, yes, but wasn't there something before about not attracting too much attention to you? Eh, eh, we'll be fine. He says with a bit of a smirk on his face. I'm gonna roll inside on that. Alright. Okay, what's my modifier? Uh. 
So, Dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right. You can tell that that um, that Thrin is very cool-headed about it. Like, he doesn't seem to be that bothered by if they get... By if they have... Um, by if they have attention drawn to them or not. All right. He's got something planned. You don't know what. But that boy, that boy, there's something up with him. At the very least, maybe keep a few alive for questioning. No. Hmm. And here I was hoping to burn the entire camp with all of them inside. Well, yes, but we have to wonder, why would they be joining forces? Desperation. We did kill mm. all their leaders. I mean, this is true. Ah, okay. But but before we before we continue on that, I would like to specify I'm going to need the lion dragoons, the lion the lion guard, the lion cubs, and I'm going to need I'm gonna need one more unit. I'm gonna need one new unit of archers. A new unit? Of archers. Because you have no archery unit in the uh in Leowin. Huh. I guess we gotta recruit archers. <laughs> Guess we do. I guess we do. That will cost 378 gold. I'll do it. Do it. All right. All right, let me just... What would you like to name this group? Oh, I get to name it? Okay, hold up, hold up. Uh... Uh, the Green Sparrows. All right. The Very green nice. Green yes. Sparrows... And you said how much? Three hundred seventy-eight gold. Because mm -hmm. they're gonna All be. Right. I was gonna. I was gonna ask you first what what um what experience and equipment. But I'm just. But I. But I was already typing stuff in. So they're going to be seasoned medium archer units. The. Hey. Right, let me just. Uh, is there any commander you would like them to have? They don't need one. It's just for flavor mainly. Uh, who are the options again? Uh, well, any NPC or PC can become a commander, but currently, currently, uh, Dion is the leader of Alum's ed Educators, Tate's technically the leader of the Eagle Guard, because they're the town guards, um, Deirdrin leads the Lion Cubs, and Aton leads the Lion Guard. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe Aldwin can lead this one? And, and well, actually, no. I, I'll, I'll go with an NPC. I wouldn't want to put him on the spot like that. Um. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I'm pull up Turns out Aldwin dies. Perry Aldwin loses fucking character. dies. <laughs> oh my God. Um, he isn't even here. How about? Uh. Is Uriel here? Uriel. Um. Uriel's not a member of the city of the city council, no, so he wouldn't be there. Pino's there, though. It, does Pino have military experience? She's a cleric, so none whatsoever. She's a life cleric. She's a healer. Mm, you're right. Hmm. Who's another strong person? Uh. I don't want to rope into Kish. <laughs> you could always make it Thren if you wanted to make, leave it base, like Thren or Nerul. I think Thrin would be fine. <laughs> All right, um, Thrin with the new archers. Thrin, okay, so Thrin's going. So Thrin grabs the lion cubs, the dragoons, the guard, and the sparrows. So Thrin, Deirdre, and Aton are going to be heading. Are going to be heading to deal with them for that month. Okay. So, what's going to happen is, let me pull up the rules for Stronghold's warfare. I like that name. It's a cute name. What, the Green Sparrows? Yeah. Alright. Also, um, because this might grow up to be important, in Leowin's, in the Leowin sheet, there's gonna there's a section on units. Mm hmm Which is probably gonna be useful, because you're gonna have to use some of those uh, units, some of those to roll. Um, let me just grab... My books, Stronghold and Followers... Man, there's something on the 10 on this dice. What happened? Okay, warfare. Okay. Bitches. Okay. It's gonna bug me forever now. I better not roll another fucking 10. Alright, so, um... 
who wants okay so i'm gonna have it where you guys are gonna roll the are gonna roll the um the dice for this one so um so who wants to so we have four units four units that you can take over there's the cubs dragoons the lion the guard and the green sparrows which one you guys got which one would you guys like to take over I'll take over my newly christened sparrows. All right. Uh, these units are in Leowin, the Leowin sheet under the units tab, if anyone will look at, look at that. Uh, Kaladin, I mean, not Kaladin, Gabe, what unit would you like to roll for? Um, That is a good question, Chief. Uh, where, where are the unit uh, things again? Uh, they're in the Leowin sheet under the units tab. Same to you, Car. All right, so green sparrows. <sighs> yeah. And there are five well, as well parts. Looms agitators. The ones, the ones being brought, no, well, not right now. I'm, I'm asking you to pick a unit. There's, huh? We Foxy already got that one. This is for rolling. Uh, no, the cubs, the lion cubs, the lion dragoons, the lion guard, and the green sparrows are going. Which one of those? Which one of those four do you want to take? Lion guard. All right. Uh, what do you want to take? I'll take lion dragoons. All right. Uh, I'll take the cubs then for now, unless so, nope. Okay. So okay. So Thwin strategy for this. Thwin strategy for this is going to. He's going to have the lion cubs and the lion guards deal with the bulk of the forces, while the green sparrows stay in the back and stay stay in an overhead position and lob fire arrows into the camp. And at the same time, the dragoons are going to circle around and hit and hit the and hit the uh, hit the successes from behind. Does that strategy work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Sounds Quiet. fun to me. Are you fine with that strategy as well? All right. Um, okay. So, uh, who was so who was taking the lion guards? I believe that was you, Car. Roll, roll attack for me. Uh, you're gonna add a. You're gonna add. Thwin has a plus four. Uh, you're gonna add a plus seven to that roll. The twenty-four. All right, they rolled a eight. So, yep. All right. So you bypass. Oh wait, no. Wait. So I need to grab Merrick successors. There you are. So, yep. You still bypass it. Okay. So with a twenty-four, the lion guard smashes. So when the battle happens, as is described to you, in the, as someone gives the report, the lion guard smashes into the um, smashes into the uh, Merrick successors. And roll me a power check, Car, which is going to be a plus eight to your roll. 19. Yep, that beats their toughness. So, so that is the, f so they take, they're going to, their, their unit thing is going to D and commit by one. All right. Uh, Roxy. Mm hmm Next, the arch, the archers are going to, fi are going to start firing arrows directly into the camp, which is wood, to light it on fire. So roll me, so roll to hit with a plus seven. No, not for roll to hit. Roll an attack roll. 1d20 plus seven. 1d20 plus 7, so that's 22. Alright, 22. With a... Am I not getting notifications for this? Why is Discord being... Whatever. Alright, um, with a 22, that definitely gonna hit it. Roll me a power check, please. So, 1d20, uh, 1D20 plus 7 again. 11. Uh, an 11 see an 11 will not bypass the toughness unfortunately so despite the fact that the camps being set on fire the Merrick successors are holding the ground the lion cubs are going to get in are going to get in on this they're going to beat their defense and beat their toughness so that's gonna de commit by another size um Gabe yo would you like would you like the would you like the dragoons to head in now or are you gonna hold them back? Uh. Hmm. All right. So, how uh, chaotic are the 
enemy forces right now. Okay, so the archers are lobbing fire arrows into the camp. The mm -hmm. lion guard are holding the front lines with the lion cub being reserves that haven't really been able to deal that much. That haven't been able to de deal that much damage. But the enemies, the enemy unit size has de-incremented by two. Mm. So they are taking a, they are taking some injuries and in some casualties in battle. So, all right, so they're kind of injured, and they're pretty focused on their front right now? Yep. All right, I guess now's a good time to flank them all right. and encircle them. All right, if you're going to hit from behind, I need you to, I need you to make an attack, uh, an attack check with advantage. So this is going to be a plus eight to hit with advantage. All right, dice don't screw me over now. All right, that is, that's a 19 on the first one, and a nat one on the second one. I'll take a 19. 19 total, or? Oh, 19, uh, 27. 27, all right, that'll do it. Uh, roll me a power check. Uh, any bonuses? Uh, plus Two. six. Six, all right. So, that is, without advantage? Without advantage. And non nat 20. A natural 20. That'll work. You de Due to your charge ability, you de-increment by 2. And by this point... Um, okay, so they have that much left. Uh, all three of you, roll me, a roll me another attack check. Oh no, roll me another power check, actually. What's the modifier? Uh, for Roxy, that's a plus 7. For <laughs> Circe... Oh, shit. Roll me another one. Another? Mm -hmm. Are you using actual dice out of curiosity? Now I am. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, plus seven, 22 again. All right, 22. Uh, yeah, so if it's without advantage, then not that 20 again. On that 20 and the second one? Uh, Thank that God. Is, ooh, that is uh, a power check, so plus six, right? That's 21. Plus, yeah, plus six. And what about you? All right, no, no, 21, 23, sorry. Gotcha. You? Yep, and what's the second one? Okay, with that, um, so the best way to describe this battle is a massacre. <laughs> oh, Thwin, Thwin's, Thwin's strategy is completely and utterly brutal. And judging by the descriptions oh, you get from the soldiers oh. afterward, the Mer Merrick successors were cut down without mercy and without... and. Most, if not all, most of them died in that engagement, shattering that bandit group. Shit, bro. I don't know how I feel now. <laughs> but as as someone's reading the report out of what's happening, you see Thrin at the end of the month when you guys are getting the report. Thrin just has a smirk on his face as he's just listening to it. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> and then he looks to you all and he says, "He looks to you all and says, whoop." Well, and with that, your bandit problem is solved. Thank you. Uh, I feel like another problem is spawned. <laughs> <laughs> I say this in, in um, my own language. <laughs> Infernal noted. Um, and then he says, and then he looks to the, French. and then he looks to the, and then he looks to the, uh, to the um, messengers like, any of them left alive? Um, yes. Uh, we were able to grab the the two leaders of the of the remnants of the flame guard and Merrick successors. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And he looks at the party. Would you like one of us to question them? I think I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you want to take care of it? <laughs> yes, All right. I want to do that. I'll, All right. I'll sit on the sidelines. All right. Uh, well. Well, keep in mind, Kaladin, that you have the um, you have your goblin learning to do. Unless you oh, want to yeah, post, right. unless you want to, right. you want to postpone <laughs> that. Unless you want to postpone it for like two weeks. Uh, all right. When you got this handled? Sure. All right. <laughs> so, all right, well, wait. let me know if you want me if you want any assistance or anything. Whitney, roll me two intimidation checks. Oh, two intimidation. Yeah. Uh, you watch, no, oh, wait, are you gonna wait? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be brutal torture or try to persuade them? I'm gonna try and persuade. All right, we'll use a persuasion then. All right. Okay. So wait. Ugh, those are terrible. Um, a fourteen and a sixteen. All right. Um, with a fourteen, unfortunately, the 
the goblin, the hobgoblin leader of the of Merrick's successors is not willing to is does not answer your questions. He actually spits in your face at one point when you're questioning him. To the um, one of the, and one of the guards quickly smashes his head against the wall for that. Um, the other one, the flame, the flame guard leader, he's a lot more cooperative. Uh, what would you like to? Oh, ask? Wait, 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 stop. Um, hmm? My my sound cut out for like ten seconds. Oh, but... okay. Basically, one of the hob, the gobl the hobgoblin leader spin your face, and one of the guards smashed his head into the wall, not killing him, but basically just disorienting him. Oh Jesus. Yeah, you can tell that the guards really don't like Goblinoids. Still, there's still a lot of hatred from what happened last, from what happened two years ago. So wait, he he mangled the face of one, and then what? what no, was the, the gob the hobgoblin spit in your face, and one yeah. of the guards, as a response, smashed his face into the wall. Oh, no, he's not oh. dead. He's just disoriented, a bit bruised oh. up. But that's about it. They didn't. They weren't trying to kill him. They were just roughing him up. Oh, stop! 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 I think you can, um, stand out in the hall for me. The guards do exactly that. They kind of just side-eyeing each other before they leave. Um, but thank f but the Inquisitor, the other one, the leader of the Flame Guard Remnants, is willing to, sp is willing to speak to you, especially after that recent display. Mm. So what would you like to know? Why were you two teaming up together? <laughs> nice game, first of all. Second of all, um, second of all, he kind of just says, "Well, we have a job to do, and the Flame Guard never, never fails on a job. We're well, our section of it, since we're only one of many um, branches of the Flame Guard." And what were you hired to do? To capture Alar, of course. Did I know about this before? Yes, you did. Okay. They're still following up on the mission that they want to capture Alar. Why is this so important to you? They paid us a lot of money, and also he's worth a. And considering and and now he's worth a lot more money too, which we can try and maybe swindle or bargain and stuff. They, they, them, you, them, they just want to them, them. They just want to burn down your home. He motions over to the hobgoblin. Yeah, I figured this much. Um, why is he suddenly with small? Well, well, if he's who we think he is, there's a lot. That's not, I mean, a lot of people would pay. A lot of people would pay money for the Sorcerer King, after all. Hmm. I don't know what else to ask him. I feel like this is stuff I already knew. <laughs> um. Um. Hmm. I could... I can tell you that our base of operations is out of hello, if that'll keep me alive. Oh, that is actually very helpful. Wonderful. Uh, Wonderful. And then you hear the hobgoblin kind of say, Coward! I'd like to coward. live! <laughs> uh, I guess wouldn't really do well to suggest any questions, right? Since I'm not really there. Uh, out of character you can. We can think of it as, um... That you're, Whitney's thinking of this in her head. If you want to suggest, all it. right. So, uh, you could ask for him to clarify if, like, the if the base of operations is their main base or just his section's base. Yeah. And uh, also, cause... if if it is just his section's base, then other base locations. Yeah. Uh, hey, Trevor. Trevor. Um, we're currently about to we're currently about to the end of the second month. I already posted how much gold you're getting for the month. I'll explain what happens after we're done with this scene. Um, uh, okay. So is this your main base of operations? Oh yes, it's where the church of the it's where the it's where the church of the flaming sun stays. And if I were to ask you to lead me there. As if you are returning successfully. <laughs> well, the only way that would work is if we had Alar, and no doubt, and no doubt they know of our, uh, they know of our most recent failures after the letter we sent to them saying that we were going to try again. <laughs> mm. 
And besides, it was mainly our group that, it was mainly our branch that was trying to muscle in on it. I doubt they'd give you much information, and they'd most likely take my head if I came back there uh, with failure and the like. I mean, you, you should lose your head anyway for being such a coward. Would you please shut up? He growls over at the uh, hobgoblin. Please, so... please. I, I say to the hobgoblin <laughs> in Goblin. Uh, Do you know uh, Goblin? Yeah, I worked okay. on it for a month. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, noted. Yeah. Uh, another question you could ask is if he knows about the layout of the base and also like you know guard shifts and postings and stuff like that. He can give Defenses. you an. He can tell you. He can tell you. He can basically give you an entire layout of, layout of the entire capital city. That works. Yeah, I'll just ask him that. Any Maybe secret passages? Ask the rest of the questions myself. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I would say that. Uh, okay, so do you, Whitney? He he kind of says like, since the church is in the center, is in the capital city, he knows his way around there. And if Hanok ever wanted to invade Halog, he could tell you some of his weak, tell the weak, some of the weaknesses and the like. But he also says, but he also says that that the flaming sun are good people and that they would just really wanted to make that much money. So if you could try and spare them, that would be nice. Yes. Um, what is your name exactly, Mr. Flimgod? Uh, uh my name, my name, <laughs> it's Rasan. Well, let me write that down. Okay. I am a flaming, I am a flame inquisitor. Vasan, I I promise you that you and your people will be safe if you can I lost my train of thought. Uh if you can help us take back uh, if if you can help us defeat these people. We will give you the reward money and more for helping us keep my friend safe. Uh, uh, well, and that goes the same for you, Mr. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin kind of just, just kind of like looks away, like with disgust in his eyes. But the the elf kind of like looks shocked, and he's like, "Um, sold, sold, <laughs> absolutely." I will and I shake on it. He hit it with his chained hands. He shakes yours. Uh, do you release him into basically protective custody in a way? Yes, I do. All right. Um, you continue to try and work on the hobgoblin, but he is completely and utterly unrepentant on this. Mm. And when the third month comes, um, a report is a report is given to your office to all to all of your offices that. Two guards, unknown, snuck in and beat him to death. The hub oh! oh, fucking! Like, and when and when when you see the Onyx takes you all to see the body since he's the chief physician, and his body is completely utterly brutalized. Like whoever did, like whoever did this, hated him. Resurrection. <laughs> And a and Alog kind and Alog kind of just looks at that and he just he, Alog just wa looks at th that and he just says, and he kind of looks and he says, it would take something it would take a true as a wait act it would take something that, oh my goodness it, you, like you see that he's just shocked by how brutal brutalized he is. Why would anybody? Yeah, I think she led bad people, but ah. Uh... I think that any. I think that if we're gonna have Gomanoid prisoners, we can't leave them unattended with normal guards. Cause clearly, cause clearly, there's still a lot of hate and anger in our citizens. Can we swap them out with the green sparrows? Uh, the green sparrow. Uh, you, you'd like to have archers to to guard the cells? We could we could give them we could give them some. We could give them some wep some weapons and the like, and train them to deal with that if need be. It wouldn't hurt, would it? Uh, no. Gosh, <sighs> That's such brutality. He says he kind of like looks over the uh, looks over the um, body, and Onyx kind of like gives a description of like like of his wounds, and it and like it's very graphic, which I'm not going to go into detail about. Mm-hmm. 
or at least get people of who like we have a good back like can we get background checks on all of these people <laughs> that would be something to bring up to Tate since he does lead them when Cookie does get yeah. in there yeah I'll do that Aloy kind of looks at you and says, well, that's commendable, Dion. These people hate goblinoids. They lost family to them, and they're not going to let that hate go so easily. Every goblinoid that we let into our city is has a target on their back for people that do things like this. And he motions over to the hobgoblin corpse. Emily. Uh, she just kind of says to the corpse... <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's best. I think even if we try to resurrect him, I don't think he'll want to come back. So for now, I think for now. He'd just be more angry at us than before. Yes, and he you'd have to make a conscious choice to come back. So for now, and he looks amongst you all. I think we should keep this between, keep this between the council for now. Mm, all right. Is that, do you, is, that, is everyone in agreement? Oh no! Um, he said that even if you tried to resurrect him, the ho hobgoblin would probably say no and would basically say no and not allow himself. Um, Alar kind of thinks about it. And says if we let, if they find out that that a prisoner in our care was murdered by guards, well, since it was a hobgoblin, I doubt they'd care that much. But that still might cast doubt on our on on how secure we can keep our prisons. Yeah, if, definitely. If, if one of our own can murder a prisoner without with impunity. And with it wouldn't anonymity. benefit anybody, really, to... Yeah, no. Which is Tate with Deirdre as his second. If this... This is... It's most like... By the way, this was the Eagle Guard, by the way. The Town Guard that did this. So you know it's some it's someone within the Eagle Guard, which technically is Tate and Deirdre's jurisdiction. I'm just using the top of a bottle, by the way. I oh, know you're good. <laughs> remind me, remind me, remind me to get you a remind me to get you a uh, rolling tray when you come down when you come up here. Okay, thank you. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and and Alar says if there's even anything to investigate, because with something like this, well, that'll be some, that's something for later. For right now, let's let's bury the body. Let's let's bury the body. Um, he looks at Onyx. Can you? And then Onyx just nods. Yes, I can. All right. So for now, I think we should move on. And with that, we go into the third month. And um, okay, so Dion basically, volcano blew up at the end of last session, like I said, and. Thryn has discovered that with for the next two years, the Legion is going to get much colder, and as a result, this past this past month, um, the party bought more houses, some of them to rent out, and other ones for people to live in themselves and buy, so that way more ho housing could be built for the inevitable surge of people. Which, with that, since it is a since it is a new month, um, I will ask: Is there anything in per? Um, do you guys want to buy more houses or anything, or? Hmm. Oh, your three nat twenties? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's at least okay. So since you can only have a maximum of two contacts that you can have active contact with, you can, you have nine more contacts that you can call on at any time to swap out. Active. That's the it's the it's it's one plus your charisma modifier. Uh, food production wise, so Whitney had the idea of storing up grain, which is was which was a good idea. So you started storing up grain in the region, but currently the last you got last month you guys decided to start growing potatoes in the region because currently you guys only had grain and fish farms. So would you guys like to build any other industries? More industries. Uh, let me look in the well generator slash industries because you're gonna, you're gonna make money off of all this stuff. Is that in the offices or uh, assets? Assets. Okay. You could start letting more yeah. guilds and stuff into town, or even start having merchants or workshops. All right, Trevor. Um... The, Trevor, this is in the Leowin city. This is in the Leowin sheet, by the way. 
What guilds do we currently have again? Okay, so currently you have two artisans guilds, one bakers, one one bakers, one alchemist, and a thieves guild in town. Hmm. Maybe we could use a leather workers guild. Yeah, Castle Leowin. It's in there. Yes, a smith guild would be good. A smith guild. Yeah, smith guild, or maybe a leather leather works. Uh, how much would I have to pay for it? Again? Okay, so okay, let me see. Okay, so a guild, a guild plot. Ooh, ho, ho. Oh, how much? No. Twenty-five thousand. For a guild. I don't have that money. Okay, I think actually, no, I, do, I think I think you can have I think you can have multiple guilds on one plot. So for now, I will say that. So for now, a a leather workers guild will cost you twenty-five BP. So twenty five thousand gold. A artisan's guild will cost you twenty thousand gold. I don't. I I have less than both of those. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, first, wait. first. Okay, first. If that's the case, then first I will give you guys your 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 bonuses for the month or your money making for the month. Okay. Which Trevor, I already listed the last one. So last one for Atro. So this month is. This month is Atro Kariska. Karisk, so this is the third month. Gold, one silver, four copper. Give me a second while I just. Man, it's been a while since I heard the sound of dice from someone else other than me. And Perry. Yeah, and Perry. And Carr. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, oh, whatever. That's right. not what he meant at all. Okay, I posted. I posted the current goal that you guys made in VC for the month of Kraveska. Hmm? All right. Um. Okay, so you guys have that much gold. Um. All right. Well, if you guys can't make that much money. Uh, you can take out a loan if need I, be. I, I can definitely put in my part for it. Like I was about to say, you can also take a up. you can also take a loan. Oh yeah, loans exist. Um, well, you need, just, a, you need to have a bank first. Let me rephrase. Yeah, uh, one silver, four copper. Uh, fifteen. Uh, fifteen percent. I think it was fifteen percent a month. I think. I think it was 15. Um, also, uh, da, 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 Leowin, um, so a bank, you have to, you have to have a bank set up first, and a bank is gonna cost you guys, a bank is gonna cost 15,000 gold. I think your collective amount can add up to that, depending. Um, wait, six, how much gold? A bank, one bank costs 15,000 gold mm. to set up so that way you guys can start getting loans and the like. Alright, um, I'll put forth, uh, 3,000. Alright, uh, seriously? Count. First of all, headphones. Second of all, um, um, Whitney's gonna put forward 3,000 gold to pay towards the 15,000 gold price for a bank. So you guys can start getting loans. Because I've I've paid a lot so far. Sorry. I, yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. No, I was also saying sorry to Car because I threw my charger at him to use. <laughs> All right, so three thousand from Whitney. Um, DM will cover what is left depending on everyone else's desired payments. Uh, Searson. Yeah, a bank is 15,000 gold. Gabe? Uh, Gabe's not here right now. He, he went to get dinner. Oh. Yeah, so you guys got it. I put in the next amount of gold that you guys earned in VC chat. It was 8,523. There's 12k left. 
Yeah, 12k left over. Okay, so that's 6,000 gold, so that means there's 9,000 left. Yeah. Uh, Dion, I think you have 9,000 at this point, don't you? We could see if... Alright, well, you got some... Uh, yeah, you have plenty. You have 16... I think for sure you have 16,000 at this point. But alright, you can pay the last 9,000 if you want. Gosh, loans. <laughs> All right. You guys now have a bank. All right. And uh, so we take out a loan. How much gold would you like to take out as a loan? Hmm. It was 20000 for the plot. For the... Uh, twenty thousand for the leather work for the leather twenty thousand for artisans twenty five thousand for a leather workers guild. Hmm. What do y'all think? Well, guys, how much gold do you guys want to loan out? I mean, do you guys want to get? Do you want want to get as a loan? Huh? The more we, the more we take out, the more. I, yeah, but keep in mind, depending on how much you have to, how long you have to pay it. Yeah, and God, interest. Fuck interest. Um. Okay. Apparently, I come up with my own interest, but I'm gonna say. What if we do? What if we like just like eight eight to ten thousand? Eight to ten thousand gold? Yeah. Alright. He's like, um, I don't wanna do like most of it on there. I but. will say okay, I will say, if you're gonna do that, if it's gonna be eight to ten thousand gold, I will and, like, say the rest of it easier. Hmm. Okay. I'm thinking I'm thinking. Hmm. Yeah. You guys make eight thousand a month. I will say that you guys have two months to pay off that loan, so sixty okay. days, and it will be at ten percent interest, fixed interest. So it doesn't go up. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm okay with that. How? Okay. So, how much gold would you guys like to like to borrow? Uh, is 10,000 okay? Does 10,000 work for everybody? Searson, Trevor, I mean, Car, Trevor. Alright, that works for the- I got thumbs up from both of them at the same time. 10,000 works then. Okay. Alright, you guys now have 10,000 gold. Alright, let me- Cookie! 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 You just came in when the party's getting, getting ready to get a loan. <laughs> They're gonna get a loan. It's the it's the next month. It's the third month, by the way. Oh, okay. So quite a bit of shit went down. Yeah. Um, okay. Brief synopsis. Um, volcano erupted. It's gonna cause the region to get colder for two months. I mean, for two years. Um, there's an uh, there's a coming refugee crisis. Crisis. You don't know when. The party has bought houses. Um, you Built destroyed houses a, for all these people. Yes. Yeah. You destroyed a bandit camp. With Thwin savagely slaughtering them in battle, or brutally d killing them in battle, and with the, with the different units, you guys interrogated the two leaders. One of which has defected to your side. The other one, a hobgoblin, was beaten to death by the guards. You don't in his know, own cell. In his own cell, and you don't know who did it amongst the guards. Okay. Also, and I made a unit, the archers, called the Green Sparrows. That's cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sound a bit far away, like a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, what else was there? Um, but yeah, the party's about to take out a loan. Of we 10, built a 000, church. Built a church. 
and the and build a farm, a potato farm, and the party's getting ready to take out a loan of ten thousand gold, so that way they can, so that way they can have a leather workers, leather workers, guild, um, start up in town, because it's gonna cost twenty thousand gold, and they're gonna borrow ten thousand while you while you guys use your money to pay off the rest. Okay. Okay. So, I will put down twenty five hundred for the remaining 15 on the leather workers. Actually, no, that's 3,500, sorry. 3,500. Uh, so you said, th you said you're gonna put down 3,500? Yeah. Okay, so 20,000 minus 10,000 minus 3,500. There is 6,500 gold left that needs to be paid. How much left? Uh, 6,500. Okay. Who would like... Does anyone else want to chip in some? What are we buying? Uh, oh, uh, Leather Workers Guild. You're going to have a guild move into town. I thought it was 15 minus 3,500. No, because no, cause already 10... Because remember... All, wait. Oh, Leather Workers. That's right. Leather Workers was 25. Sorry. So it's um, 11,500... Minus, yeah, eleven thousand five hundred. Sorry. No, you're fine. I don't think I added my gold from last time, so someone needs to do it. Uh, the gold that that you got since you've been gone. Uh, uh yeah. All right, uh, give me a second. Uh, you have a total of seven, eight, oh, eight. Five silver, so six. So it said six silver. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, Hello. We, we moved on to the next month. Party, <laughs> party built a bank and have taken a loan from the bank so they can build a leather workers guild. Can I put money into the bank? Well, no. The bank was to build it up so that way it can start making money, or so that way you guys could take out a loan. Yeah, and uh. And I was saying, like, could I put? Can I make an account and put money in it? Well, you guys, well, you guys. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna bring back that banking idea I had for Empire. <laughs> you guys have your. You guys basically have the castle has its own treasury because your money is the town's money in a way. Well, in a way, basically, you guys are keeping your money in the treasury as well. Because I wanted to have like 10k for like emergency savings, for yeah, emergency you can, money. You can put it in there, basically. All right, <clears throat> I'll do that. I was like, Cookie, I tagged you how much how much money you had from these past two months. So oh, yeah. I'm paying this so... out of pocket, or? Oh no. That, um. Okay. So there's. You can pay, yes, you can pay it like with your own money because this is basically what you guys have you got basically you guys have gotten what you've earned. So yeah, this is basically your own money left at this point. So the seven seven point eight k and the eight and a half k we got over the two months, mm -hmm. and I'm guessing we're splitting that among among the party. That's already split. Oh shit! Sweet. Okay, I'll add that. Into um, thing. I'll pay half of that eleven thousand. All right, that's all right. That's the case. Uh, Cookie, you're gonna be paying. Uh, 5,750. Hold on. Is that... So why do we take a loan? Because you guys didn't have enough money to pay for, uh, the, uh, Leather Workers Guild, because it was 25,000 gold. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, you're right. Hmm. <laughs> Yep. So five thousand seven hundred fifty left. Mm-hmm. So yes, and would you like to um would you like to uh pay there's five hundred there's five thousand seven hundred and fifty gold left. Would you like to pay some of that or five thousand? Take it out of the thing. 
What was that cookie? Take it out of the cash's uh, money treasury or whatever. Oh no, no, this is this is what are you talking about for, in the sheep? I thought we already spent that. Okay, with that, uh, Sissy's gonna pay, spend the rest of that. Okay. All right, so you now have another. You now have another workers guild in town, and with that, with that, is there any other city management that you want to focus on for now, or? Um. How much would it cost to make a workshop plot? Uh, workshop plot will cost the plot itself. Will cost five thousand gold. Well, that seems kind of easy. Okay, so plots. So just a reference, plots. Plot prices are in BP four, and anything that anything that's related to the stuff, anything and all the um the rest of the stuff like the resource workshop, merchants, farm, and guilds. That's in BP one. Okay, so. Alright, um... Hmm... What about, um... Let me see how much I have left. Well, the thing oh. that I want to do count as sitting management. Uh, what is it you want to do? Look in the list. Okay. <laughs> Cheeky. Um, hmm. Um, okay, for the... You talking about the fourth one? I can't look at it now, but I'm assuming so, yes. Upgrading the... Yeah, yeah. No, that, one would, one? that one would be taking guild contracts and, complete, and completing those. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. so that's, just, that's basically... T that's what you do on your personal time during the work week. Okay. During the month. What? What does a cooper do? A cooper? Uh, where's that? It's underneath it's cobbler in the workshops. Uh, I see. Uh, a maker and repair, repair of casks and barrels. Huh. Like cast iron? No, like barrels and stuff. Like kind of like like the wooden bales and the like. Yeah. Oh, when you said cast, I was like. Hmm. That casks, like casks of ale. Oh, cask. All right. <laughs> um, hmm. What would be hmm. really useful right now that we don't have? Well, we already got a leather worker guild, but do we actually have leather worker workshop? Well, no. If you have a leather worker guild, uh, not, not yet, actually. So I'll pay. Uh, I'll pay for the whole thing for that. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling generous. All right, that'll take six thousand gold. Oh, six thousand. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was five. Right. Wait. Let me see. BP one. Leather worker. No, because I'm looking at it right now. Leather workers. Oh. Is, yeah, six BP. All right. So I have eighteen K left. All right. All right. Um, with that, is there anything else anyone wants to build for the town for right now? Trevor, I see your loan thing. Um, I feel like that. I feel like you. I feel like I'm gonna. Say, okay, I'm gonna say the th for the purpose of it. I think a loan for only the town is what I will allow. I don't think I. Don't, I don't think I'll allow personal loans because that might get a bit hectic to track. Unless anyone wants to say otherwise, would you guys want to be able to take personal loans? I'm fine. Uh, if we do, do we have to make like a sheet or something? You know, we have to track it ourselves, right? Yeah, I think you'd have to track it yourselves. I do not want to take out personal loans. Like, 
I mean, that's fine if you want if you want to do it. All right. But I mean, yeah, I'll allow you, all they won't have to do. track it. You don't have to. Yeah. Track it. It's more of a loan for the town. But if you're like taking the loan out, Trevor, then it's personal. Really? How bad? There are lawyers in this world. I just saw a law firm in BP4 and I'm like, there are lawyers? <laughs> there are <laughs> lawyers? <laughs> Okay, so just gonna say this right now. Um, so I decided to, to do a thing so that way. So I, I okay. So I can't. So thankfully, so I, I so ba thankfully I used a website that was able to convert loan stuff for me. So um. So, so this is how much gold basically you're gonna have to pay per month to pay off your loan, for the one that the town took. For what? How long is that? You have two months to pay that off. Oh, well, that's easy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you guys are fine there. <laughs> Do you guys want? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's. I'm about to be like, wait, per week? No, per, per month. Week. Per month. Yeah, two months. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm not doing variable loans, dude. Do I look like I want to break my mind? I'm doing. Yeah. I'm doing fixed loans. Um. Uh. Uh, Trevor, if you want, okay. Well, the town already took a loan, so I feel like you guys will have to cash in your current one first before you can take another one, is what I would say. That makes sense? Mm. Like, you have to pay off your current loan before you can take another one anyway, so that way they can prove that you're tr trustworthy. Yeah. yeah. Makes right. sense. Alright, with that, I'm gonna end the... Uh, unless someone wants to... Someone can interrupt me if need be, but I'm gonna shift away from the city building section for right now. What do you, what do you guys want to do for this month? I know Gabe. I know Kaladin still has a month left to finish go to finish learning Goblin, so he's busy there. Isn't it? Hasn't two months passed already? No, that was the money that you got at the beginning of this month, basically. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. You get you get you get your payment at the beginning of the month. Um, okay. So, what would you guys like to do for the month? I know Kaladin's busy. Is this? this is the third month. The second okay. month has already passed. Hmm. Actually, that reminds me. Um. Can I make my uh, make a spell? Yes. All right. You want to create your own spell, or yeah? At first, the rule was just like take a spell that already exists and like modify it somehow. Yeah, it was a whole it was a whole different role, rolling different things. Give me a second. Okay, DMG is a bit different. Um, create a spell. This music is from What do you find? <laughs> uh, Frostpunk. Escape. Well, technically, since you guys have a wizard tower, any arcane caster can learn, can create new spells now. Um, wizard tower. Yeah, you guys have a tower, basically, as in your stronghold. So basically, now any spellcaster that's arcane can cast spells. Also, uh, Roxy, I'm gonna message you the link to this. Oh, maybe. Hopefully that brings you down to the right section. Yes, because technically you're a spellcaster using you're an arcane caster using the wizard spell list. Give me a second. Come on, love. Uh, oh, Baker, so I kind of count too, right? Yes, Baker. Bakers count as arcane casters. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's still loading. Shit. Patience, my tower. All right, tower. Spell research. Okay. Oh fuck. Can you all hear me? Yeah. No. <laughs> um. Okay. So. I think it's just like. Oh wait. That, it's, oh, there we go. All right. 
Okay, Trevor, I will say that for the purpose of creating a spell, it cannot be something that... Vague. Vague, yeah. Spe spectrometric. Spells made, spells made by adventurers are ones for very specific goals. Like, I would recommend using existing spells as a guideline, but like mainly like either buffing, damaging, or stuff. Well, actually, no. For you, you can... Either buffing, damaging, or stuff like that. For since you guys are arcane casters, you cannot make healing spells because you're not divine casters. Damn it! So Wait, say again. You cannot make healing spells, unfortunately. But Dion could, right? No, he can't. Oh, the Never tower. Mind. The tower only allows making arcane spells, and by the lore of Five E and my lore, arcane spells do not include healing. All right. Damn. Um, okay. I would like to make this a fifth level spell. Do you have, do you have axe? I, you love, I would say you're not able to make a fifth level spell until you're level nine. Because okay, that's right. when you have like access to fifth level. Alright. So, a fourth level spell. Damn, look at that. Do I have to write this down? Hmm? Do you have to write this down? Uh, yes, please do. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm gonna say- I'm Remember. Gonna, I'm gonna say, Rox, I'm gonna say, Roxy, that Winnie takes a month to learn the new spell, right? That to create a new mm -hmm. spell, correct? Yep. All I'll right. just put down all the criteria that it lists. Alright. Um, Tate, what do you want to do? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I can't really click on my list right now. I'm so weak. Hold uh, up. I'm sick. Wait, hold up. I can do it with my pinky. I got Ooh. it. Must you... Actually... That might take a bit longer, right? Which one? Would I, would I just... The fourth one. No, it wouldn't. It would just you'd have to just complete some you can it would probably you could probably do it in a month. You just have to complete enough guild contracts. Mm, I'll wait. I'll do Takeshi stuff. Alright, so you're gonna hang out with T alright. You can hang out with Takeshi then? Yeah. Alright. Um I'll keep right, I'll keep that in mind. Uh Kaladin, Kaladin, Searson, and Trevor, what would you guys like to do? I thought I was goblin learning. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Goblin learning. Uh Searson. BRP. Uh so carousing again or Or would you like to do more of a just interacting with the lords and the like? I think it's just more of an interaction because I think I've done enough carousing. Alright, uh you're gonna roll me a charisma persuasion check. You're allowed to use your um plan your prepared plans. How at... big of a radius am I allowed to make this spell? Uh, what level is it? Uh, fourth level. Twenty foot radius. Okay. All right, continue. All right. Um. Gosh, wait. Is there a thing? Is it, isn't there? Is there a thing that lets me see how much? Does this thing cost anything? Yeah, so it takes... Oh, God. Whoa, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, Whitney. Yes? For your spell. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of melding different rules together for this one since they're both on the same mm -hmm. topic. This one says, To research a spell, the magic user must spend one month plus one week per level of the spell minus one week per level of their tower. Your tower is level one, and your spell is going to be level four, right? Yeah. So it's going to take you a month and three weeks to to create that spell so pretty much two months yeah basically all right did that work for you yeah that's fine right. i'll just spend the last week of that next month uh carousing i guess yeah same for you same for you trevor it's gonna take you two months to make a new spell which you can like like um i'm gonna send you the same link that i sent roxy so you can use the guidelines for that okay and with that, um, and with that, I think everyone has something that they want to do this month. Um, 
appears so. Uh, did Searson do something? Uh, Searson is talking to me right now. He's um, Car is saying that he that he wants to talk to the other lords, but he also wants to get one of his other assignments done. Which which one is that? Uh, okay, there is a, the only, the only weaponsmith that you have currently, well, no. Okay, so the only enchanter that you have is, 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 um, actually your runesmith. Who lives, who smiths, who's, as the smith, who's your smithy in the castle. Uh, let me just see what her name was again. Because I got a whole bunch of NPCs that I gotta look through. yet um no there are no rune knights volan volan's a rune smith okay all right and with that all right so anything all right so with that i'm gonna start now so um hmm. so seriously i want you to me a persuasion check Twenty-eight. All right. Um, you are definitely your actions are definitely starting to get the court of Aeneas's attention. And since you are the ambassador, you are making headway and speaking with their ambassador and the like. But you feel like the the relations between your two cities, which were already g going up, is getting even better. Uh, Lou is kind of being off putish he's he, he's kind of like like he's he's willing to send one of his ambassadors to meet with you but he's kind of being he kind of like being very closed off gren gren's very open about it he even meets with you himself and the like and he's and he's he's basically being very um blunt in the in the like uh jiro you cannot meet with it seems like every time you try to visit jiro he's they they don't send any ambassadors to, to speak with you from it seems like they're stonewalling you you get the feeling that there might still be tension over the fact that you kind of broke one, that the group kind of broke one of his cities. But as that's going at the same time, uh, Tate. Yeah. Uh, you and Takashi, <laughs> you and Takashi are kind of hang are hanging out on one of the days when she's back in town. Um, the two of you are kind of. What do the two of you do? Um, uh, guess we would just come back from training. All right. The two of you are coming back, kind of just, he's kind of like wiping his brow with like, wiping off like a scale with like some towel or whatever. As he sells you like, you're getting, well, look at you. You're getting way, you're getting stronger. I can tell. You can tell? Well, yeah, for once you don't have those rinky dink arms. He says, kind of like nudging one of your um, arms with his um, with his with his sheath katana. Bruh, I was buff before. What you mean? <laughs> Not on my level. Training as individuals, Dion. Yeah. Um, he says, and then he says, "So you found out you found out anything about that guard that killed one of your prisoners?" Um, no. I'm still looking into it. Gonna, I bet you're gonna tear his ass a new one when you find him. Oh yeah. Love to be there for that. <laughs> Will you? Aren't you still going out and doing a uh, uh, killing? Exploring, thank you. We were sometimes venting, but I said I'd like to see it, not that I will. How's that going for you? Well, me and Whitney found that bandit camp last month, so so that was something. Didn't get I got to help a little bit in the fight there. Other than that, other than that, I've just been I heard I've been looking into I've been trying to find out more about that mine that we heard more about last year. So far, I haven't found anything on it. But hopefully, I'm able to find it. Hopefully, be a lot of that whole situation with Theron is is kind of weird. No, you mean, oh, uh, you which part? The one where the one that he where he where he 
use some strategy that I didn't think that a, that a, that a fey elf could use to kill a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, that kid. Jeez, it's starting to make me think that he might have more of an issue than you do. Or well, used to. And as and as you two are kind of like walking through town, um, you hear you hear a voice say out in the intraconic, "Takeshi Shimo, I've finally found you." Who's this? And you hear Takeshi kind of like freeze up and just go, "Shit!" Who's this? Uh, the two of you turn around. You see this pale elf-like figure, kind of just with this like very, this very, eh, like this very off-putting smirk, with a dragon cane in his hand, kind of like just standing behind the two of you. Ugh, not this guy. Uh, oh, sorry, keep going. I was going to say, why, it's a pleasure to see you again, Takeshi. And you, you hear Takeshi growl, <laughs> and he just looks very angry as he's staring at this guy. Who are you? Ah, uh, my name is Ren Shimo. The creator of the Shimo Firebrand, he says with a bit of a smirk on his face. Oh, the Firebrand? Mm-hmm. He, I, <laughs> I was one of the chief inventors who made my my best weapon, and he points his cane over at Takeshi. Oh, Takeshi's a fri Firebrand too, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, he's not a weapon. Oh, is that what he's convinced you convinced you of? Well, we all, we both know the real truth, don't we, Takeshi? And Takeshi kind of takes a step forward, like, and you get, and like, you feel like the air around you kind of get colder. But then, this guy, Ren, he kind of just grins, and then, there's this... I think you should want me a charisma save, um, uh, Tate. Charisma! Okay. <laughs> 18. With an 18, thankfully you were able to avoid being frightened by this frightful presence. But you can see the after image of an ancient white dragon appearing behind um, Rin for a split moment. And then you blink and it's gone. What the fuck? Ah, you, ah, you resisted, you resisted the, the frightful presence. That's rather fascinating. I can see why you took an interest in him, interest in him, Takeshi. Might even, might prove to be, he might prove to be an even greater warrior than you might be. <clears throat> Look, man, why are you here? I'm here to fetch a weapon that I lost a long time ago. It's t we have a de you have a debt to me. You still have to pay, Shimo. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I told you last time. Piss off. <laughs> I've been a stubborn fool. I see. And then Ren kind of and then Ren kind of looks over at you, Tate, and he says, "Well." If you want, well, maybe I can find another specimen who... And then Takeshi takes another step forward, getting in Ren's face, and he says, If you touch him, or anyone else here, I will rip your goddamn head off. And then you see Ren kind of like tilt his head to the side, and he takes a step forward, and he says, Will you, boy? He mm. call me a boy? No, he's talking to Takeshi. Like uh, Takeshi, who's Ren? towering over this this uh, this this ancient white dragon disguised as an elf, and Ren just takes a step forward, gets in his face, and just and asks that question. Where are we right now? You're in the you're okay. I would assume you guys are coming back from the forest to the north. So you guys are near the you guys are near the middle of town. And you see, like there's a crowd that's kind of, kind of like parting, kind of like trying trying to avoid you guys. Oh. Fuck. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I uh, get in between. I was like, okay, let's not do this here. Hmm. Very well. Ren kind of backs up and kind of like fixes his hair. I want. I am. I'm here. Any. I'm here anyway because I wish to spend some of my hoard here. Seems like a lovely town that I'd love to invest in. And the guy she says no. And he looks over at Yutei and says, "Do not let him. In. Do not let him stay here." You're trying to stay here? Nah, not not permanently. I just like to spend. I just like to spend some of my hoard here. You know how we dragons like to amass massive amounts of wealth. Yeah, but not here. Really? You really? Not even the mm -hmm. not even the hundreds of thousands of gold coins that I've acquired over the ages. So wait, is he trying to put it in the bank? He's trying to basically buy a bunch of stuff here. Basically, judging by what's going on, Rin is trying to get Takeshi back. But since Takeshi's stonewalling him, he's going to try and stay here as long as possible to keep to basically mess with Takeshi. And Takeshi's not having it one bit. Look... You know, you can maybe stay a couple nights, but I'm not letting you buy anything of this town. He then shakes his head. There was a time when Dragon Pharaoh like you were sensible. Oh, I still am. This is me being sensible right now. <laughs> and then he looks at Takashi. <sighs> of course you find it. Of course you find another one who's as stubborn as you. Whatever, so be it then. I'll take. So be it then. This, and then and then and then he and then he fix and then he simply taps his cane for a moment. If that's the case, if that's the case, then I'll return as a later time to return my prize. I have a long time to wait, and judging by the way you look right now, it won't take it won't take long for your mental state to deteriorate as usual. Whatever the whatever broken pieces of your mind are left, I'll be I'll take that and make a true warrior out of it. I don't like this dude. Ren kind of said. Ren then starts to walk away. What a shame! I'm sure Ayame would would have been so disappointed to see her to see you like this. And then and then he looks back <laughs> and Takashi and says, "I'm sure she I'm sure your beloved spinning in her grave right now." And Takashi seems like he's about to fly forward and just tear this guy's head off when a gust of like ice cold wind blows through and then he's and then Rin's gone. Uh care to explain. <sighs> that was Ren Shimo. He created the Shimo firebrand like me. What? Why are you such a dick? Oh, ancient Ren Shimo. I'll, t I'll write his name down in chat. Give me a second. There we go. He's a dick because that's what all that's because all what all dragons over there are like. Some of them are actually good, but they see us firebrand as nothing but slaves, basically. Wait, could I like tell where he's from? Who? Oh, um, Ren. Oh. Uh, judging by his familiar, judging by his name and his familiarity with Takeshi, you think that he's also from Western, the West Side of Takira as well. That's I am right. Hmm. That's not where I am, right? Nah, he'd be way north of where you were. Okay, so he's like north. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you well, you're a. F Far, far away from home. How the hell did you get here in the first place? Mm, well, there was war. Then there was mercenary work. And then there was me hunting down Daryl Leo and to take his head for taking my arm. Okay, well, let me reiterate. Uh, how did you get away from that guy? Uh, well, I, I suppose, well, um... I nearly tore his head off the first time and lost a good chunk of my, and lost a good chunk of my body in the process. Didn't die though. Been on the run from been on the run from people like him ever since. I hate the guy. Doesn't make it any doesn't make it any better what he did to me 
and the others. But he wants you back. Do you know why? I'm a firebrand. I'm a killer. He wants he wants what he wants with all firebrand to make weapons out of them to win wars for him. Eh, I mean you're a pretty cool fighter, but you know it's fun to hang out with you. Hmm. <laughs> Thank thanks. Men like him don't understand that. Well, we'll just make him. Next time he comes back, I'm going to jump him. <laughs> uh, I'd like to see that. Probably going to take this entire. Probably going to take you and your entire group of friends and me to take him down. All right, cool. Well, that's another person we got to kill, and then like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. Be <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to write a name down, but take this big. A uh, mental note, like, all right, so there's another guy we gotta kill. <laughs> and he just starts <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh God, Ayame would be shaking her head at us right now. Is that your wife? She would have been, but she died. Mm-hmm. Or she get killed, or die? No, she was my no. I have. I was a bit. St me and my unit were a bit stubborn, so they decided to. They decided to assign a medic from the Katsu Firebrand with us. Yami was the one chosen. And af after a while, after spending time together, me and her fell in love and stuff, and we thought about running away from it all. But then Shimo found out, and then she eventually died of sickness, which should be impossible for Firebrand. I always thought Shimo thought always thought Rin had something to do with it. Never figured it out for sure. Dang. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's it's in the past. It doesn't matter. All I know, all I know is that all I know is that I couldn't. All I know is that I don't want to start. I don't want to work with that jackass ever again. Fair. Well, I'll make sure you won't have to work with him. <laughs> Thanks. You can stay here and kill as much as you want, within reason, of course. <laughs> you had to add that. In. You had to add that in to make sure. Yeah, don't want you going crazy at some point. Understandable. Ah, uh, but with him showing up now, I got a headache that I'm gonna go drink off. All right, don't get too wasted. It's literally impossible for me, Amber. Still, I gotta look out for your health. <laughs> and then you see him walk off towards, um, walk off towards, uh, the, uh, towards the local tavern. And with, and with that, with that, we're going to progress to the next month. How was, um, did you look at the spell, by the way? Yes, I saw the spell. Um! Does it need to be changed anyhow? Uh, seven seventy six. Hmm. Cause that's the max it said on the thingy or whatever on the website. But I can ch take it down. If That'll be work. That's one less than fireball. That works. All right. Yep. Perfect. Yep. I would say and twenty foot radius. I would say twenty. F Wait. So it shoots out from you into a twenty foot cone, just to make sure. Like I point to a spot. And it's like, then it's a 20 foot cone. Right? Uh, or like, whatever you say. If it's a point, I would say a 20 foot radius, which means that it's a circle. If you want it to be a cone, then it has to come from you. Alright, then I'll make it a circle instead. Alright. But with that, alright. So, alright, so moving on to the next month, I believe, I believe, I believe, Sears, I believe, Searson, um,. Kaladin and Tate are the only three who will have an opening this coming month for things to do. Yes. Because Kaladin's done with his goblin training. Uh, Yay! Whitney and, Ta Whitney and uh, Dion are making spells. And Searson, Searson's finished what she's needed to do with, with talking to the other lords. And Tate, and Tate, I'm sure, has other things that he'd like to do as well. So first things, so first, things first, um, the goal that you guys are making this month... Give me a second here. Uh, wow, yeah, well, yeah. You guys are increasing in gold amount the more this month goes on. This more this time goes on. Uh, uh, How do I add this? Give me a second. Um, 
Okay, calendar. Fix, fix, fix. There we go. Alright. Let's make that day one. Alright. Um. Alright. Uh, Tavasha. Okay. So it's the fourth, so it's the first of the fourth month. So you guys, so it's officially, it's officially the April month, basically, and spring is getting closer. Though it's not getting much, though it's not getting much warmer. Not as much as you would have hoped. And some people are kind of getting nervous about that. So, as a result, discontent is going to start to rise a little bit. And your health is actually going to go down as well. Oh, God. Your health is now Ooh. at 60 out of 100 for the town. <laughs> what? You were at 80 before. Oh, I'll, I'll um, share the... Mm -hmm. I assume the the other cities are suffering the same, such as us. Yes. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, what else? Discontent. Uh, I think over here. Um. There we go. Your discontent is now negative fifteen out of a hundred. Which, by the way, negative numbers for dis discontent is good. If it gets positive, that's when stuff gets, starts getting bad. Oh, okay. I was like, huh, that, that isn't good. <laughs> All right. There's a spell, by the way, for anyone else who was curious about it. Pepperidge Mountain. Yep. <laughs> it's a stabby do. So, that's gonna, so it's going so to take you one more month to make that spell, Roxy. Yep. And Dion, I'm assuming you're, uh, Trevor, I'm assuming you're crafting that spell right now yourself. I don't know how to add it to my sheet, so I'm just gonna... I would write it down somewhere, just to be sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it in that one sheet that I was writing it in. Okay. Uh, you got... Currently, it's the month of... Do, 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 uh, the month of Tavasha. Okay. Okay. That's how much you guys... That's how much money you guys have earned at the beginning of the month of Tavasha. Also, um, you also have a loan payment that you guys need to make. A loan payment? Yep. How much? Uh, I'm about to paste it right now. And do we all pay that amount, or is it for... It's one account, right? It's one account. The, t the count's account. 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 Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, I'll put in... I'll just do the 1,062. 1,062 is how much you're going to pay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, now that brings you down to four thousand gold, even that you have to. Pay, that's left to pay off for this month. We'll cover whatever. Well, except for the change, the extra yeah. change, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, the yeah. extra change. Yeah. All right. So loan payment. You guys have four thousand gold. Four thousand gold left, along with an extra five silver and nine copper to pay. Um. No, I'm not gonna volunteer this time. So. All right, Kaladin, Searson. Um, Dion's willing to Dion's willing to pay whatever's left over. But like, does anyone want anyone want to um? Watch his left over. Uh, four thousand five, four thousand gold, five silver, and nine copper for the loan payment. Done. You're paying the rest of it. Sure. All right, so that's all right. Kaladin's working. And how much silver you said? Uh, uh, five silver, nine gold. I mean, nine copper. Ugh. Five silver, and take away the copper that I earned earlier, so I'm back down to thirty-eight. All right. All right. With that, Done. now we move on to the city building side of things. Is there? All right. So this time, you are definitely getting refugees coming in. Yay. There are dozens. Uh, there are dozens of them streaming in now. We should probably build more houses, yeah. Um, how many of these houses that we already built have been like taken by said refugees? All of them. All of them. Okay. You guys. So guys, how just, many? Just be clear. <laughs> just be clear. For the, in the past three months, you guys built. You guys built forty-three houses, which holds two 
which which if you're going by the thing it says in our goals, it's it's two it's two adults and one child for every house. So at least eighty six people have moved into town now. So, uh, out of curiosity, are we able to build, like, a, let's say, like, a boarding house, like a family could get, like, or, like, an apartment building or something like that? I would say that, I would say that, that flavor-wise, that's just, that's just, like, maybe however many houses you want to buy, because that's not a thing in the, uh, in our goals thing. Alright, because I don't think we want, like... I guess slums like forming with people just like moving in and in and well, in. Well, there is a there tabaxi, is a tabaxi camp, camp that is set that up is... in town, like uh, which is on the map of Leowin, the, the the tabaxi camp. How often do the like tabaxi nomads come in and out? By the way, like oh, um, they they kind of just well, they're wanderers, they're merchants, so they come so they come and go with like the seasons and stuff. Also. And mm -hmm. Searson reminded me of this, but Searson and Aldwin came up with a plan where basically you guys start a bunch of townships up and down the road of Leowin, mainly heading down south towards Aeneas, and start po having new ma having towns pop up along that road. All right, so basically build new towns. Got it. Yes. Okay. That is an option. All right. Assets. Is that no assets? Uh, no, that would be... So if you look at the Leowin tab, if you scroll down, you'll see that I made more sections for towns. Which is probably gonna bite me in the ass, but... Oh, boy. Um... You guys can start a oh. new town. So yes, Aldwin and Searson's plan was to start new towns along the road, basically, just to have to push some of that population elsewhere. I think maybe we should wait until... Everyone's here for that. Wait till everyone's here for that. Does everyone else agree? Because I I'm totally fine if y'all want to actually like press forward with making a new town. Wait for what? What are we waiting for? Okay, so Searson and Searson and Alwyn came with a plan where basically you guys make towns along the road from Leowin to Aeneas. Basically, you make you give you give mayor uh, mayor positions to different people and have them set up towns along the southern roads. So that way, some of that excess population can be pushed elsewhere. Is this for the refugee problem? Yeah. Partially. And. I mean, I don't know about towns. I mean, towns could be small, but... Well, villages, like hamlets and stuff. Let me rephrase. I was about to say, because having town, I don't know. I don't want to be, like, rude, but having towns along the road. But if it's, like, villages, then okay. All right. Uh, is anyone else up for... Uh, Dion... Okay, so Dion, so Dion would prefer having them stay in town and just building it up. Uh, Gabe, what do you think? Uh, hmm. I I'm personally fine with either. Like, although I guess uh, uh, with that uh previous incident with the refugees, like a few years earlier, uh. I guess founding a few other towns could help, I guess, in terms of, like, resources and, uh, spreading, I guess, influence, you could say, perhaps. Alright. Um, so, I will most likely write up those towns. <laughs> okay, I will write up those towns after the session. But for right now, so we're so we're all for like making another village, making a village basically, making villages along the road south to Aeneas, correct? <clears throat> sure. Let's be clear. So Searson's for it, Ka Gabe's for it. I mean, Kaladin's for it. Whitney, are you for it? Um, uh, sure. Uh, Tate, are you for it? Yeah. All right. Wait. You say meh or yeah? I say yeah. Oh, okay. I was just curious. Um, and Trevor's for it. Okay, so that's. Basically unanimous there. Alright. Um I'm gonna assume one new village starting out. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Um but going so I will say that, that will cost I think that costs a hundred gold to start up a new village, so Alright, so i who's gonna take care of that hundred gold to start it up? I'll do it. Alright, uh, Winnie you said you do the hundred gold? Yeah. 
All right, when he's got that, um, you give Seriously, him. Seriously, you can take care of the next thing. <laughs> Um, okay, um, but with that, while that town's being set up, there is the issue of food and the like now. Because you do have stockpiles, but, like, you do want to increase your food production. Which ones did you buy? Oh, yeah, you oh, did. Wait. But, like, oh, what about we... farms themselves? Did we get more gold? I didn't add it on. Yeah, nine thousand nine. Th um, it's th it's in bold right now. It's right above that loan payment thing. Yeah. Um. All right. Welcome to D and D. This is D and D. This is D and D, especially when you're on a town. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. How many plots did you buy? Farm plots? You got one new farm plot in that case. Only one? Yeah. Oh my god, that's not enough. That's not enough for anything. Keep in mind how much. Keep in mind how many farms that. Keep in mind that a plot is a pretty big piece of land, but it's still like like that's if it if it costs five thousand gold to make a new farm plot, I'm pretty sure that's a lot of farms being started up there. Okay. But anyway, okay, so you have another plot to put another farm in. Currently, your options for farms are poultry farms, poultry farm, grain farm, fish farm, dairy farm, crop farm. More potatoes? Uh, what about a poultry farm? Yeah, what does poultry give us? Chicken farm! Chicken! Uh, okay, Chicken. A, a poultry farm will cost you guys eight. It's actually the cheapest one, 8,000. Uh. Okay. Uh, 2k from me. Okay, 2k from Whitney. 2k from myself. 2k from Kaladin. Mm, that's 4k. Yeah. That's core fa That's 4k paid off for, for right now. I'll do the rest. All right, and take paying off the rent. So you now get. So you guys now have another poultry farm. I mean, how now have a new poultry farm set up? That Whitney, so. that Whitney watches over the construction for. Oh, um, I watch over the construction. Oh yeah. The rest was four thousand, but apparently Dion's willing to split that, split the rest with you, Tate. Okay, that's fine. All right, so each of you pays two thousand, and you guys are now making nine thousand six hundred gold a month. Oh. I'll keep that in mind for next month. Hell Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Um, what's the uh, what's the next? cheapest farm uh okay next cheapest farm is it's, it's a four-way time between four-way tie between meat grain fish and dairy mm. we don't have a dairy farm right no but if you do want another farm you will have to buy another farm plot oh yeah never mind i i can wait <laughs> okay i could get another farm plot for us Th that costs five thousand Hmm? It costs 5,000 gold for another farm plot, is what I'm letting you know. Okay. Cool Done. with that? Okay. Yeah, sure. Alright, you're up to 11 farm plots now. Uh, you said dairy farm? Yeah. Alright, who, to... who wants to pay 10k for a dairy farm? Alright, let me look again. Oh. I'll pay 5,000. Alright. I can pay the other five. Alright, Calden and Tate will pay. Five thousand. I will pay five thousand each for a new dairy farm. Right. And I'll you... give uh, Tate a kiss on the cheek. A billion of them. <laughs> That's not payment. It's not. It's payment. I cannot love. pay you in kiss. <laughs> no, that's fine. Right. I'll I'll pay you in, in also sweets. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what's okay? So Whitney and Dion will be busy for month, month, miss, this month. So Searson, Kaladin, and Tate. What are the three of you gonna do? What month is this? This is the fourth month. Uh, we're really cranking through this month. I'm, I'm happy for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to get through the entire second year this month because we're already like two hours in. The second year this this because I think because we're, we're already two hours in and there's still mm -hmm. a couple more events that I kind of want to do. 
I know you That's fun. Do, so. That's, I'm How fine slow was it before? Uh, it took us... It took us one session to do three months, and it took another session oh. to do the rest. And I was heavily I skipping in, the se in that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll start the bakery upgrade. Okay. So there are a few guild contracts up up that you can do, Tate. That your baker that your bakery can start doing. Mm -hmm. So how many how many work weeks do you want? It? Do you want to do it for the entire month? Yeah. So that's gonna be three d six times five, and all of that times four. Jeez. Okay. Or times five. Times five because it's five weeks in a month. Okay, so three d six times five. Times five. Yeah. So, and then what was that? And then times all of that, by, and times 45 by 5. Okay. Give me a... Give me a sec. Hold up. Give me a second real quick. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Um, okay, so so Tate's gonna be working on the bakery, which I'm gonna which I'm gonna keep in mind because um, you're gonna have to make some checks there, Tate. Um, so it's two twenty five. You said how much? Two hundred and twenty five. Nice. Made some decent gold this month for your bakery. Okay. Yay. Um, which I'm gonna keep, so I'm gonna so I'm so we're gonna do some crafting checks with you once once we start going through the month. Uh, Kaladin, what do you want to do? Do you want to head off on what you wanted? Um, how long would that take? It would take you three days to get there, and then are you gonna do research the research downtime activity? Yeah. All right. You can't. Uh, give me a second. Wait, do I have any contacts in that area? Well, you do have your background feature. Alright. So, I'll take it, though. Okay. So, let me just snip at this. I was hoping to carouse first and get a few more contacts in that area, but... Uh, you can't. I'm assuming that... I Well, you can. You can, not, you can not rely on your background feature if you want. Well, if my feature takes care of it, then no matter. Well, yeah, because you have a spy contact, so... Yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, Guess I'll head over there. I will. So Kaladin's gonna be gone from the city of Leowin for a while. Uh, just to be clear, here you go. Um, Gabe, I just sent it an image chat. Hopefully, it loads. Mm. Oh, just have to click on it, I guess. Play with that, I'll keep that in mind. And Sirson, what do you want to do? Oh, the one for the spear? Oh, Kindled Fire. Oh, okay. That one, um... How much money do you have? 35,000? Uh... 10k. Yeah, it would cost you 10k for that. Alright, um... Wait, I just noticed this. Trevor, did you give... Kaladin and Tate, 2,500 gold? Okay. Oh, okay. So Kaladin and Tate, you guys got 2,500 oh, gold each from Dion. 2,500? Mm-hmm. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Right, that is four. All right. Um, that is... Uh, what's math? That's math. <laughs> uh, and Sirius and Sirius and everything, you're going to spend the entire month doing that? You're going to spend the entire month doing that? Okay, so back to calculations. How, like building more? Like having more houses built? How much money do, what do, do you want to spend there? 5,000? Okay, so that's going to be 10 houses. I think you guys, I think that, I think there, I think at that point you guys, do you guys break 10k? Yep, you guys broke 10k per month. Mm. Thanks to Searson, thanks to Searson getting 10 more rental houses set up, you guys are now making 10k a month. Hey yo. That's gonna be fun. All right, and all right. So starting starting the month forward, um, Tate. 
Mm-hmm. Make me a. You're proficient at cooking tools, right? Uh, yes. Okay, you're gonna roll. Well, oh. thieves tools actually. I thought Baker. Gave... I thought Baker gave you cooking utensils as a. Yeah. I think it's because of my background. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume as a baker. Wasn't that the same thing? Th- thieves. The same. The... Uh... Uh, what's it called? Whoever it uses. Ability score? Yeah, dex. Uh, yeah, that can work. Yeah, since you are going to be more finesse with this. Roll me... Okay, so you're going to use your Thieves Tools ability for the... Thieves Tools um, number for this. Roll me a ability check with that. So 1d20 plus whatever your Thieves Tool check is. Uh, 11. Alright, so roll me another one. Twenty-four. Only well, three more, because this you're going you, since you since you're doing this per month, I mean per week. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh wait. Alright, so that's how much I need to pay for the month. 10, 21, and 7. Alright. Uh, give me a second here. Alright. Um, okay, so... Since Whitney's busy making a spell, you, you are... You do kind of have some issues with some of the, uh, your bakery does have some issues with some of the, uh, contracts, but thankfully, thankfully you and Needs are able to pick up the slack. And okay. You were, some of them were botched, but you, but for the most part, you were able, you were able to complete your contracts, and as a result, your bakery chain, your bakery is now at the regional level. Which means you have now, you now, and a letter arrives for the owners of the bakery, so let me just... Give me a second. Uh, Give me a second here. Uh, I'm gonna send this to you, Cookie. Since you were at the bakery at the time while while um, Whitney was busy making making a spell. Ha! Funny. Funny. Okay, so do me and Whitney see this, or just me? You receive it since you're at the bakery, but do you tell Whitney about this? Yeah. All right, let me send this to Whitney. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn you, god. I sent, I, I sent it to you, Roxy. Okay, yep, I see it. Due to your recent events, the numerous bakery accounts would like to be reviewed to the <laughs> Should you fail the first test, you can apply for a redo later day after other business have been reviewed. Your critic would be Satya Blue Alimentaire, and they will revive, arrive with a marker that will do not test the test. We hope your evaluations go well, and the very times do not hit your business hard. With our lasting respect, the big associates. Why are you reading this out loud, girl? So see- <laughs> it was up to you whether you wanted. It was up to you whether you wanted to spread it or not. No, no it's not a secret. No, this is Sorry. our business. Damn, they don't need to know everything. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you? Could they really decipher it through my accent, though? Oh my goodness. Yes, we could hear everything <laughs> word for word. I'm sorry, I just got back in here. Tisk, tisk. Yeah, this is like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I imagine this is what Tate and Whitney are like right now. But okay, Whitney and Tate, how do you feel about this? 
We just gotta do, uh, bring our A game. I'm really excited, but also nervous. All right. And You'll do fine. A week after you get that letter, mm -hmm. you have visitors. Oh my god, Sati. No. It is. No? It is a albino alamri and a red alamri. <gasps> Tate, you're, Tate, you're working at the bakery when you see two familiar alamri walk into the no, bakery. It's nothing. It's nothing. And it takes wait, wait, but would I know them though? Because I, ha I don't think I've. Wait, it, wait, did you say it was, it was them? Did you, did you, I thought you, I think you would have met, um, judging by their appearance, though, okay, I, let's do that you have met them. Judging by their appearance, though, you remember from it's what, fine. You, you, fine. you remember night. from what, you. you remember from what Whitney told I just you. Came down to the oh, okay. Those, I thought you screen. Whitney's parents Sir. just walked into the bakery. Did I cut out? Mama and Papa! Okay, before we start this though, I I haven't met them. I'm gonna be like I haven't met them because uh -huh. we've only been partners. She's brought her parents up before, but I haven't met them. Gotcha. Yes. Because of the business. You, I am not doing a fucking French accent. Do not even. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Why do you people keep expecting me to do these voices? I'm not good at this. Damn it! Wait, I forgot. I wrote down their names. I forgot where where I put it. I have it. So. You see, so, uh, you see them- I know one of them is a Ratatouille character. They talk to each other, they talk to each other, it's like, Ah, oh, this is a lovely bakery, don't you think? Yeah, I think, I think that, uh, I think that, uh, Whitney made a nice place for herself. And Tate, you just hear them commenting on the bakery while you're sitting there at the front? And I'm just, like, beaming, and I, like, jumped up over the counter and <laughs> went over to hug them. Whitney! And you see them, like, hug, hug her tight. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're here! Oh, we're glad to hear you're safe. I'll pass. It's we're glad to hear we're glad to hear that you're okay. safe. We'll see that you're safe. I'm so happy you too. Oh my gosh. Oh, I haven't introduced you properly. Tate, these are my parents. Uh uh. What you gonna say? I was gonna say I was gonna say the two of them look at you. Um. So Tate's at the counter. As soon as like Whitney went to hug them and stuff, he like went to the back. He darted to the back <laughs> <laughs> where he goes to make the bread, and then he's kind of like his his heart is beating. Like okay, it's, it's just a parents. It's just a parents. Nothing to worry about. It's just her parents. Oh my fucking god, her parents are here. <laughs> oh no, no. And he he does he like kind of semi freaks out before and when you call his name, he like peeks back in and goes, "Uh, hey, um, hi, I'm Tate. Nice to meet you. I run the bakery. Hello. I mean, I know I don't run it. I help your daughter with the bakery. He's very close to me." They kind of just cock their head, like you see, you see the, you see the, uh, God, okay, you see the albino alarmy kind of like cock her head a bit uh, as she looks at you, kind of just eyeing you, and he says, "It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you at last, Tate. My daughter has mentioned you in her, in her letters to us." Oh, really? And yeah. she just kind of looks cheeky at him. Oh yeah, well yeah. She she has brought you guys up plenty of times when we've been uh, working together, and he he kind of like bows like respectfully and shakes their hand. Uh, um, the the uh, red alami shakes hands says Pierre, and then the white alami does the same and says Colette. Uh, Mrs. Pierre and Colette, it's nice to meet you. Here, I'll put the names down. Yeah, please do. Oh, or you can do it. Uh, <laughs> you probably have the better spelling. Alright, uh, well, I was just gonna... I actually copied and pasted a trait from you. Yeah. Oh, really? Ah, oh, come on. And there he is. Just 
the candle. Also, parents, let me let me paste, let me have their parents there too. I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, so the dad is red and the mom is albino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you would you like to come sit down? Maybe uh, eat something. And it's probably been a long trip for you guys. Oh, that'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. I'd love to see. I'd love to see what you all serve here. Oh yes. Oh, I have to make. I have to get you the buns that you love so much, Papa. What's I love that, she, he says with a smile, as the two of them sit down at a nearby table. And you see Uo kind of like looking them over, and then looks between them and Whitney, and then looks at, and then looks at, and then looks at Tate, and he just has this big grin on his face. Uo? The old elf. Yes, 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 I thought Tate. That. The Tate just glares at him like, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Uo doesn't say anything, he just goes back to munching on his, munching on his sweets. I bring out this tray of sweet buns, and would those tiny, would those be considered pastries or breads? Um, you know, I think they'd probably be considered bread. Then you're bringing out some of Tate's creations, then. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. Wait, wait, no, he had to, he has to look it over. He's like, okay, they're good. They don't have anything on them, right? And he like checks checks them. <laughs> Perfect, my sweet, and I give him a little kiss. <laughs> and I bring them out. Um, Tate actually made these. Uh, and I set them in front of Mama and Papa. No, I got it. You set them in front of who? Uh, I set them in front of my parents, and I also offer one to Uo, since he's here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they all take a bite out of it. <sighs> and you just see, and you see, and you see Colette and Pierre kind of like having like this inquisitive look on their face as they're kind of like tasting it. Hmm. And they, and they both, and they both, both look at you, Tate, and then Colette says, hmm, I think that, the, I think that the, I think that the, the spices, the um, not the spices, the sugar that you added is the just the just the right amount. And then Pierre says, "Yes, yes, the bread texture is flaky but soft at the same time too. This is very good." Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I like lace my arm through Tate's. I see that you're as good as Baker as Whitney is, Tate. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, I said, I see that you're as good at Baker as Whitney is, Tate. When Pierre says. Oh, no, she's way better than me. I just know, I just, I just know how to make bread. Still, you must, you, you've done it very well. So how have you two been? We heard about the horrible things that happened uh, um, two years ago, and we were worried sick about you. We are doing better now. My magic is... Uh, both of our magics and fighting skills have greatly improved, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. And you two are doing well? Mm-hmm. Yep, Wh business is successful, you know, making money. Whitney kind of blushes. Uh, and, uh, I don't know if you know, but we are, uh, we're, we're together. We're mm -hmm. partners. <gasps> no! Colette <laughs> kind of says, with like a bit of a look of, with like a fake look of astonishment on her face before she just giggles. No, you could tell, dear. Laughs in French. <laughs>, Laughs in French. <laughs> but I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, you two make such a cute couple, too, don't they, Pierre? And Pierre just kind of like looks at Tate. Oh no! 
Wait, what? And then he says, <laughs> yes, they do. Before he kind of like gives a small, soft smile. What? Uh, no, I, I was just like worried about like, <laughs> no, he's, I think he's fine with it. Yeah, he, roll. He, 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 roll inside if you want. God. Uh, 11. God damn it. Oh, come on. You can read your dad like a book. He's not, he's not really like that harsh on tape. He's yeah, a, no. He's I, I, I he's was just, just like worried for a second. He's just messing with him. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do I know though? Roll Should inside. I roll? Okay. I'm glad you support us, Papa. This will be the one time I actually wanted to fail. <laughs> the one time you wanted Ten. to fail. Uh, same with you. You you kind of like very scared for a moment, and then. <sighs> oh okay. <laughs> How was your trip down here? Oh, it was all right. Just things seem a bit crazy back home right now. I uh, I forget what what's happening in Dits. Uh, currently the war, right? Yes, Dits and Spoonia are at war with. Where's that picture at? So I have to remind myself of what kingdoms there were that before the map got wiped out. Um, there you are. Come on, load, load. There we go. All right, Dits and Spoonia are at war with the country of Bifrostia, a Bayfrostia. You know, you can stay with us if you need to avoid, you know, the conflict at home. Ah, uh, but what about the business? It'd be a shame if we just left that behind. True. Well, and you hear Uo kind of pipe in. Oh, well, you always... Well, you could always move the business over here. We could always use two bakeries in town. And you see Uo just looking at Tate with a grin on his face. <laughs> <sighs> this old man. This old man. <laughs> this old man's a little shit. Yes. Would you be okay with that? I mean, you've you've had the stores been there for generations. Uh, hmm. Well, we could always just start up a new. We could. Well, uh, well, actually, we heard we heard while we were on our way here that. You all have moved up a bit to regional, so maybe it's time that we help you with your chain. See how you all run things. I kind of like look up to Tate for approval. They want to stay. Yeah, basically, they want to help. They want to help manage one of your chains. Um, uh, how many chains do we have? Currently, like none. I think. Wait. None? Okay. Yeah, because you this is your first business, I believe, from what I remember. I think so. Yeah, so you guys can start st starting up new businesses as a result. Um, sure. Do you think you'll be okay with it? They look at each other. Yes, I think we can handle that. Yes, we, def we definitely can. Oh, it's been forever since I've lived with you guys. It's going to be nice being so close to each other. Uh, yes. Uh, that means we'll have to travel all the way back and get all of our stuff. And then that's when you hear, and that's when Alar walks in. Alar walks in, kind of like, and then he kind of says, oh, am I interrupting something? <laughs> Lomry reunion. Alar kind of like walks in, accidentally, acts, walks in, he notices you all, and he says, am I interrupting something? Uh, no. <gasps> uh, no. Whitney, who is this? Uh, this is Ella. He is, uh, a friend of mine on the council. Oh! Oh, you're on the You're on a council? Oh, yes. I am... I, did I not mention that in my letters? I am the oh, no. Minister of I, the Interior. Pierre, you forgot again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sometimes I forget stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, give me a second. Um, okay. Um, 
Alar says, well, it's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is Alar Daenerys. I'm the, like, like Whitney said, I am the counselor of Leowen. The counselor? Oh, you have, you have, you've made some good friends. You've made some good friends. I'm here, Whitney. Yes, plenty. Hmm. Uh, but like I said, but like I said, I think it's going to be tough moving all that stuff here. It's going to be so much luggage. And then Ayla kind of breaks up. Do you need help moving things? Ah, but we couldn't. Yes, but we can't ask you for that help. It would take weeks and, well, might take a couple of hours. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me? Oh, um. Excuse me, what? Well, <laughs> about, Whitney, how, about where would you live? Uh, did the capital of Dits? About, yes. Probably a couple of minutes away, actually. He raises, he raises a finger for a moment, and then he kind of like thinks about it for a moment as he raises like his, like two fingers. He raises like his hand, his right hand, and he's like, hmm, hmm, what is he doing? Hmm, there. And he snaps, and he summons a portal to the capital of Dits. Did someone, oh my god. Did someone's. Like I said, a couple of hours at most. And you see Pierre and Colette just like, just like, just like shocked. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much it as a god. <laughs> I'm not a god. I'm just a, I'm just a wizard. <laughs> yes, allow me to help you. Uh, Pierre, let's go. And you see Colette just pick, take Pierre by the arm and drag him through the portal. <laughs> and oh. and Alar and just looks. And Aylar just looks at, um, just looks as they run in, and then looks at Winnie and Tate and says, they are absolutely adorable. Uh, uh, Aylar talking about my parents? Yes, he says they're absolutely adorable. Ah, uh, yes. You see where it comes from. <laughs> by, the, by the way, by the way, Tate, I want to make sure you haven't made a puddle or anything. Aylar says before he walks through the portal. A puddle? Basically saying that, he's basically saying that you look scared. <laughs> I'm not a fucking dragon. Why would I be scared? <laughs> <laughs> this mighty dragon, Sarah, cowering be before these two tiny little fox people. Exactly. It's not like my whole future depends on them or anything. It's not like. <laughs> an hour or two later, they come back. An hour or two marriage later. is in the balance. <laughs> An hour or two later, they come back with all of their stuff. They find a nice house that's next to the bakery where they're able to set up shop, where they're able to set make a home. And actually, Aylar actually, actually, no, as they're doing that, Aylar kind of says, wait, Whitney, Tate, aren't you two moving into any looks at the being built castle? Oh. Yeah, the, the bakery doesn't have like a room anymore. It just has two levels. Oh, so it's gonna be like a two-store baker. You're getting rid of the house house that was on the top floor. Yeah, since we're living in a castle. Oh, okay then. Okay, I was about to say you could oh, have we it. Oh, are okay. I was about to, I thought for a second that you guys were gonna have it to where your parents live up and <laughs> live where you used to live, but now they can live in a house next to the bakery. Yeah. All right. And he helps them with that. Uh, I was Whitney and Tam. I'm guessing you guys helped them move in. Mm hmm. Um, Tate, while you're moving some boxes, Pierre is like helping you and he says and he kind of asks so you've been good to my daughter haven't you <sighs> it's just the two of you by the way like <laughs> wait i'm sorry what Pierre... he asked if you've been good, being good to me <laughs> yes he's asking you away from anyone else where there's no witnesses <laughs> okay <laughs> um He's like, of course, sir. I'm I'm treating her fairly well. You know, she she gets she gets all the pampering and making sure she's okay and helping her out around the bakery. But she she's a strong young fox lady. Yes. He kind of just, just squints at you as you're speaking, and and he kind of says, "Hmm, okay." But uh, I I do have to uh, ask you something. What is it, sir? <laughs> Um, take kind of like uh, fiddles with his hands before going. I want to marry you, your daughter. He looks shocked for a moment. 
And then he just says, ah, and you're asking for the parents' approval. Yes. Well, at least you have the courtesy to do that. Of course, I am very polite. Hmm. Yeah, nah, ah, ah, I like you, Tate. You seem, you seem like, you seem like, you seem like you'd be a good son-in-law. He says he's not just you. But, but let me be clear. And he grabs you by the collar. You do anything to break my daughter's heart, and I will, and I will, and I will rain hellfire upon you. Oh, mm, of course, sir. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't hurt her at all. Good. And he lets you go. <laughs> now then, now then, what ring do you have to propose to my daughter with? I'm gonna make one. Oh, oh! Make, makes makes baked goods and even makes wings for people he intends to wed. This will be. Oh, this is fascinating. Yeah, but I'm kind of struggling between what type I want to make for her. <laughs> uh, I'm sure whatever type it is, she'll love it regardless. They could always go for the staple gold. Yeah, but I wanted to scream Whitney like it's for her and only for her. Ah, uh, I see. Well, seems like you'll have some snooping to do, won't you? Yeah. And then he kind of puts a hand on your shoulder. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> he says with a big smile on his face. <laughs> Bro, you, you, a whole married man. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, hey. He's not the one that wears the pants in the family. Uh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Colette. <laughs> Colette's, Colette is Colette's obviously the one that runs that household. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hold up. Hold up. But actually, uh. But. Hmm. Also, out of character, how long does those rooms take? Uh, it doesn't say, apparently you can, apparently it only takes two hours to make a rune. Oh, word. I mean, how long does it take for, to put the rune in the object? Oh, no. It takes two hours, to, it takes two hours to make, to, to, yeah, to make a ruined weapon, a ruined, ruined object, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then he kind of like, and then he, then he kind of just looks at you and he said, and then he kind of like pauses for him and he looks at you and he says, well, <laughs> at the very least, I would say, I would say that... Well, gold is a well, gold is a good normal fit. Something I'd say something like ditzy and platinum. That's a good one. Huh? Where where would I find that? Oh, that's gonna cost you a bit of money there, but I think it'd be worth it in a way. It is worth it. I'll I'll will see if I can find any old friends back back in this that can that can hand you something. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's no problem at all. Then he smiles, and then the two of you go back to helping the others move in. And with that, does it, would you guys like to do anything else? No. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, this is cute. I know, I loved it. I, I, I squealed too loud. I thought I scared someone in my house. <laughs> Dude. Right. Pierre and Colette. Tate oh. crosses Tate looks at his looks at the stuff he wanna do for the second year, crosses off two of them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> just like just like Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Got this, Tate. You got this. You, you got this. You red dragon boy. <laughs> Dude, red dragon boy. I was gonna say you. Well, that'd be three. I already did three. True. I was gonna say you red dragon motherfucker, but I don't think Tate would say that to <laughs> himself. He would. God damn it. You got this, you red dragon motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> now, All right, motherfucker. Now I'm just thinking of now, I'm, and I don't think. Uh, see, I see the line that I'm making a joke of that from from ends is you got this, Lee. You got this. You you, you no bite having motherfucker. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> what? It was a fucking joke from something I watched. Anyway, continue on. Okay, moving on. Um. 
Kaladin. Yo. Okay. You find out several key pieces of lore. Sweet. I'm just gonna copy and paste all of this to you, cause <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Unfortunately, the you find so. God. Cause this, cause I wrote several things here. <laughs> Boom. Oh my. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Ooh, some text okay. right there. Mm -hmm. Main thing, main things. The cult that corrupted your mother was known as the Whispering Way. Gotcha. They were wiped out by Shadow Kai operatives known as the Talons of the Shadowbringer. So my work is already done for me. Yeah. From what you hear, from what you heard, the streets ran red. And and is for several days while they worked. Wonderful, but, wonderful. And I and you're kind of frustrated. I assume you're kind of frustrated that you couldn't get your hands on them yourself. Slightly, but also satisfied that like they are they're already taken care of. Mm -hmm. Like even like if they're taken out already, then that's that. Makes sense. And then on your last day of researching, at the end of the month, you get a letter. Everyone's getting letters. Wait. The Guardian's the one that wants to kill me. Yeah, with Nehru. Gotcha. Good question. Do you return to the do you return to Leowen after I uh, you get all the information you need? Yes. Yeah. All right. Will you tell the rest of the party about this development? Will you That's a good question. Uh just finishing up the letter. Gotcha. Wait. What? <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you saying right. okay? Are you saying okay before the before the sign off or after the sign off? Uh, like those three words right before the sign off. <laughs> like, okay. New family member! <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. Well, time to divert more resources to that. <laughs> Alright. What, uh, what about that last section? There. Four, after, when the fourth feather after the sixth raven comes, the guardian will arrive, and the chosen will become the harbinger, or will be sunk into darkness evermore. That's some information, to be sure. Mm hmm Do you tell Nehrul about that? Yes. Wait, who are the towns of the Shadowbringer? Do I know? They are. They are a. They are Shadow Kai, who work for the Shadowbringer, and they basically go across all of Acria. Actually, I actually added that to your notes as well. But basically, they slaughter any undead cults they can get their hands on. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah, I'll go tell Nerul uh, this little bit of cheesy, juicy information. Actually, cheesy and juicy doesn't match up. But anywho, he is completely and utterly infuriated, and you guys hear like a fuck throughout the cat, throughout like the throughout the already built portions of the castle. <laughs> Wait, what happened? You hear you hear Nerul yelling "fuck" throughout the throughout the un, the unfinished castle. Oh, I goodness. figured this would be the reaction. <laughs> he then fixes. He then fixes. He then kind of like calms down. Thank you for the information. No problem. I figured 
you'd be interested in this information, that considering have, it regards I, you. That I have two years left to live? Yeah, that's great. Would you have preferred I didn't say? No, no. At least I know. At least I know in advance how much, how much my, how much time I have left on my life. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for making me second guess myself. All right. He pats you on the shoulder and then he says, and then he simply walks off. And you see that he's definitely pissed. All right. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> and I'll I, find out. Or do some of you fight? The rest of the point. Do you guys peek out of your? Do you guys peek out of your offices to see what's going on? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah you see Nero storming down the hallway, and you see shadows being ripped up behind him as he's just marching, with servants kind of like moving out of his way, kind of looking at him terrified. Is it that loud? Oh, that happened. Uh, yeah. What did you say, Roxy? Uh, I forgot what. It means here. Hold up. Does it mean goddamn? <laughs> Something like that. Here, hold up. And you see Kaladin standing where you were. You gonna guess where Nerul started walking away from with like with like a letter in hand? It means like goddamn. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. I'm constantly lighting up, and that's weird. Hmm. Anyway, um, but with that, we're gonna end the fourth month here and now everyone okay uh, Trevor I'm gonna assume you're gonna send me a message to see what spell you're gonna craft after the session so with that we're gonna move on to the next month uh, let me go ahead and get the calendar updated to that uh, all right it is now the fifth month and you guys earned a lot of money this month Oh boy, let me have it. Hold on. Hold on a second. Close that. Come on, Discord. Come on. Come on, Discord. Ah, God. All right, let me just go back to the other thing. Uh, let me just. Huh. Okay. Okay, I will say, starting off this month, there are more people that arrive in Leowin. More than we have yes. But these people refuse to move to the new village starting up. Because these, these intrepid new residents are Shadow Kai. What? Shadow Elves. Nay rules race. Oh, boy. Uh, the guards ask them this, and they say because they need to be close to the Chosen so he can save them. And that's when you guys um. find out that a large amount of the Shadow Kai are wasting away. Oh, man. Damn it, why is my... My earbuds are fucking up right now. They kind of gasp for a moment. You know him? Mm. Oh, yeah, please, if you can, please have him visit us. We need him. And during the town meeting, and during the town meeting, Nerul's present, and he's just staring out the window at all the shadow cat that he can see, and he just, and you just hear him mutter under his breath. There is no solution, I, because because the only solution is. But you don't want to. Yes, and I'd yes, and I'd rather let my entire race die than be slaves under uh, slaves under the Shadowbringer. He's saying this to the party, by the way, during the town meeting. Yeah, he's saying this. Yeah, he's he's basically saying I'm willing to let every Shadow Elf die, so they. Basically. Why? Because it's better to die die on their feet than be slaves to the Shadowbringer. 
Can't you just Can't you just break the link that they have from the Shadowbringer? No, because I don't have that power. <laughs> well, someone does. There's only He's ma God, he's smart. He says he kind of like face palms. He's doing that he's doing this to force my hand. He th he thinks that I'll care enough about he thinks I'll care enough to to seek him out by if I if all these shadow kai waste away in front of me. Wait, is Nerul? Yes, Nerul saying this. Oh. Uh, yeah, um, you wouldn't be in the situation if you would have done what I suggested you should do. Oh fuck! I refuse to see him. Well, you're being a pussy. <laughs> oh, oh yes, I'm sure I'll take. I'm sure I'll take. I'm sure I'll take that from you who ran away from home when he didn't like when he didn't like what he was dealing with back there. I'm sure I'll definitely want to take some criticism from you, Tate. Oh, you know nothing about my life. Do you really want to go right here, right I now? I see everything. I see every single influence you le you left on this world. I see your, your entire, entire past. past. It's best to leave uh, these petty discussions uh, outside of the entire meeting. Fine. Thank you. And then, and then he looks at Dion and says, he "Looks at Dion and says, I really have no. I really do not care what you think." All right. Well, I'm not talking to this guy, so fuck him. All right. With the issue at hand here, hmm. um, I is Alar here. Alar is there. Alar was basically just was watching this entire conversation. Ayla, you've been with Nehru the longest. Um, what do you propose would be a significant idea of helping with the Shadakai? We could ask could some of the local mates. We could ask some of the mages to see if they can add their own expertise to this and try and keep them alive as long as they can. Are we to Virno would be here then. Person, yep, Virno yep, kind of says, 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 I can look in with the mages to see, see if they can help, but... A lot of those people are down, people there, down there are dying. dying. I don't know how long they have, but like... And then Honest and then says, says, three years of years past. past. Alright. We will see if we can find some other potential solution, right? With the Mages Guild. May will. You have, until then, to figure out some sort of solution on your own. You see, he kind of like slowly nods, nods. nods, and Thrain yeah, just kind of like looks at like, him for a moment. And you see that this entire time, Thrain is still with that smoke on his face. face. That he's that is not going. I'm. Mm, he messing me up. He's definitely the one who killed the goblin, though, right? <laughs> you have no idea. And Thrain I mean, I know. But like... And Thrain kind of Thrain kind of says, "Moving on to better topics, so we don't have as much of a heated discussion." Maybe we should find a new home for all these shadow elves in the meantime, don't you think? They wish to stay here, so, which means we'd probably need to either build more houses or relocate people. I think the house think the idea house might be better, better, because I don't think I mean, people will be willing, be willing to let the shadow of them go. I want to break it with my bare hands, I'm sure. Sorry. No, you're good. There's already enough hostility between... The people here and other groups. I don't want the Shadow Kai to be one that they have anger towards if they take their homes. So. Yes, I think we should just build them new homes in this case, Aylar says, as he kind of like mm -hmm. glances over, glances over. I... And then yeah. they're all kind of like looks out the window while Onyx says, I don't know how much help they'll be labor wise. They are <laughs> something, something is eating away at them. At most, at most, it'd be like making elderly homes for them. What can I do to help their condition? Or maybe save it all for the This day. would then uh, bring us back to the Nehru conversation. So right now, uh, only the as far as what we know, the only solution to save Shadow uh, Shadow Kai to, would be to let, to let, to let, to let, to let Nero die. die. 
and either way. Thwin says that smoke's still not gone as he looks over at his at his friend who looks back at him with like a glare. So for right now, we will put them in homes. Should they die, as unfortunate as the situation sounds, at least more homes are freed up to refugees. <laughs> Until then, we will have Mages research the situation, and Nehrul gets one year and a half to figure out another potential solution to this problem. Yeah. How and, many uh, homes do the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, I would say about 2,000 Shadow Kai have moved in. 2,000? Mm -hmm. So... So, that's like... To be exact, if there's three people, three yeah. people per household, that's like how many did you say? Two thousand divided by oh yeah, two thousand divided by three. Yeah, well, wait, no, two thousand divided by three, six hundred sixty-six houses or six hundred sixty-seven houses, if you want to be exact. Okay, so that's so that's to be exact. Also, by the way, the other half of that loan payments due. I forgot to mention that. Alright. So, 333,500 gold. If I did 60, 667. Hmm. God, that's a lot of money. Huh? Yeah. For what? All the houses. All the houses. Oh, yeah. Shit. So basically. So basically. And then, and then you hear, and then Takashi says, "So basically, we're gonna, t so basically, we're gonna put our, we're gonna put our town in debt for for people that are going that are gonna die by the time that loan gets paid off." I don't know. Why are we doing all? Oh. Because it costs. Oh no, he's saying that because it co it's gonna cost three hundred fifty thousand gold to pay for all those houses at once. We're buying more houses. Because like, because like, well, seriousness come with the idea. To accommodate all the shatter, Kai. And then, and then, um, what is her name? Allison says, well, I think that's commendable. Maybe, maybe a better, maybe a better option here would be, would be to maybe let them live in the camp with the tabaxi instead of building homes Ooh. for them. That, that sounds small too. It won't absolutely destroy our economy for the next three years, I think. See, yeah, that works. works. I doubt the um, Tabaxi hate Shadow Elves that much to where they, they... I feel like they go well together. And besides, the Tabaxi could look after them in case anything happens. Mm-hmm. All right. Firstly, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time and do the 1,062. Actually, no, we're actually, we made 54 BP. 54? You need 54 BP? A year, right? Yeah. Well, not a year. A month. How much? How much you make a year? Is that what you're? I mean, what? To pay for? Oh, to pay for all that. I pay off the first one thousand sixty-two. Well, yeah, you guys make ninety-seven BP loan. a month. Well, no, no, right, seventy, seventy BP. So I even out the loan, and you know what? I'll take care of the change this time too. All right. Uh, I don't know how much that is. Um. So it would just leave four thousand left regular. All right. Uh, there's four thousand left for the loan, by the way. The loan. Remember the previous loan you guys had? You have to pay off the remainder of that one. We didn't pay off the rest of the one before. No, you did. This is the oh, okay, this okay. is the last yeah. half of it, basically. Okay. You have an even four thousand left, and Dion's willing to pay all of it if need be. Oh. Yep. Okay. Dion, you pay the rest of it. And at, with and with that, Thwin kind of like Alo kind of looks and says, <clears throat> "Um, maybe we could have the lions left in here with a few core members if that would be best." 
and, and Pino and Alex and them kind of nod before they leave. And the Aleph is like, okay, we need to reverse the Alpha now. Mm -hmm. Well, well, okay. Okay. The question becomes, the question becomes and I say this with all the, all the, all the assurance and being nice, we need to choose because we either force him to do this or we let them die. That's the um, that's the ultimatum we have at this point. And beating him on the bush is not going to help gonna anymore. Help. We have, yes, they have three years. I proposed a year and a half. He has a year and a half to figure this out. If he cannot, then we'll force his hand. A large house, and, 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 and you see the room getting, the room's the room's getting, getting very, cold very cold as you're having this conversation. And I'm giving no shit. I know. And Thrins just kind of has like, is like snickering a little bit as he's hearing this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thrin. Yes. yes. Had to explain something. Oh no, oh, no just, just. I just I find, just this. find this. Well, well, back when this happened the first, first time, time, I had some. I had some, I had some. I planned out. You asked me to come up with a plan, correct? I came up with several strategies. This, unfortunately, was was indeed one of them, and it's going about as about as how I predicted it to go. Do you have any better protections for us? Hmm, well, well this is the only one with it. Well, well, yeah, look, he, well, if you all want to force him right now, I calculate your chances to be, and he kind of stares in their wool for a bit. Hmm, I give you guys about 25% chance of getting him to do it, but with, a, with only two of you ending up dead. Lefuck? Oh, oh, I, oh, all of you are powerful, yes, but I, but you can't wait is the thing, after all, because the more you wait, the more people die. It's a rather fast, I guess, it's rather fascinating, to be quite honest, seeing, seeing this development, and to be quite, uh, well, he kind of looks over at Newell for a bit. Would it be so bad if you did just cease, though? I mean, after all. I mean, to be honest, like, to be honest, you exist. It seems like there's only one core solution here, and you clearly can see where this is going, after all. And then Nerul's, and then Nerul's not looking, he just says, You're asking me to die. Yes! I mean, we are, uh, we are asking you to die. As anything that prevents, um, in my doctrine, anything that prevents the uh, most amount of life lost is usually the best course of action. However, in this circumstance, the rule states that the Shadakai would still be slaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ayla yeah, thinks about. It. I think he, yes, they they were created by the by the Shadowbringer, and they will always serve her in a way. Especially, Especially if he continues the cycle. Well, if we view that as uh, well as a production of a loss of life, the the uh, the solution that would have great the greatest uh, reduction of both ends would be to do it at the exact halfway point. I was told three years was how much we have. That is why I decided to go with 1.5 years. Reasonable. This is seem reasonable with the, uh, with the truth, uh, with the council. This refers to Tate and Gabe and Dion as well. Kaladin, excuse me. What up? Cookie, what? Cookie, Caledon, 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 Cookie, Caledon, Cookie, Cookie, Gabe, Gabe Trevor, Trevor, what do you guys think? About what? Basically, basically she's saying he has ha he has a year and a half. Either he either a solution is found or that's it. We well, can it. fucking die. I already told him what I want to do. He ain't listening. Shit. Does it take saying this, by the way? Right. 
This is damn He's too stubborn. Shit. He doesn't want to go kill the dude. So, oh well. He can, he can die. Shit. Resurrect again. Except the resurrection doesn't work if he dies from the Guardian. He'd become a no. new being. Too bad. Who knows? Who knows? Kind of says 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 who knows? Who the new name will be even, will be even better. Doubt. Huh. Any other um, council considerations? We'll tell him that because he's not trying to do what we could do. Well, he's here now. And then... Okay. You see... You do... Oh, Trevor, the problem with that idea is that the Shadow Kai are wasting away. They can't be productive... They can't be productive workers because they literally are physically failing. That's the problem. It's a potentiality. Also, another thing to consider is once new rules, a situation would have ended. I'm pretty sure the Shadakai would not stay here. And this would not be a particular boon to Leo when... Give me a second. Ah, come on, come on. Come on. There go. Sorry, my Discord froze. So I'm inviting something out to someone who asked me a question. Yes. You could. You could very well just decide to side with a guardian and get new all killed. You could you just, just you could just force the the conversation, but instead of helping their rule, help, help the guardian. We haven't even met this guardian yet. It'd be best if we could meet him, especially sometime in the next year and a half. Why? He's he's the one that's been taking people. We know what he can do. Meeting him doesn't prove a point. It's not going to do anything. And, and just out of context, he's also the he's one also that's the causing one that's... the Shadow Kai to waste away because he's trying to make Nerul come come to him. Exactly. And if he's causing it, then perhaps putting an end to that would put an end to both problems. Hence killing him, like I said. Yes, the Guardian. He's not, that's the problem. Nope, he's not. No, he's not. no Trevor, Nerul's Trevor, not Nerul's willing not. to. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. He's willing to sacrifice some people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Aelon kind of says... Oh, yeah. Nerul? Yes. Is there a ritual that your people use to speak to the Guardian? He shrugs. Can you find out? Sure. All right, then. Then we'll, we'll see. Let's see. At the very least, maybe we can... At the very... See, at the very least... If we cannot convince the Guardian to stop this, we can summon him to us and deal with this now and then. Now when he shows up. If, if, if Nerul will not go to him, we make the Guardian come to us. And if need be, and if need be, and if need be... I need, I need, I need, god damn it, I need my book. If we're going, if we're going to go after, if... If we're going to go after the Guardian, it's going to take a lot of power to deal with that, and this town might very well be in th be threatened when we summon him. So, I, so we have three uh, years. We have three years, three years to get the Guardian here, or to get Nerul to the Guardian. I say we bring the Guardian here through a rift. No, like in the town. No, in a safe place. Okay. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, you spoke like you were going to make him pop up in the middle of town, and it's going to be a fucking I, brawl. I, apo I apologize, Tay, that's not what I meant. 
but but I, I know magic that can I know magic that can entrap people in certain locations. I can make a demi plane to where we, I can make a demi plane or or by the or by the nine hells. I could even open a portal to the Shadowfell wherever the sh guardian is, and we go there and cut him down. Okay. See, but, look, we're getting somewhere, people. Yeah. This is what I've said before last year, but no one wanted to do it for some reason. Why did everybody? Remove the stick out their ass. <laughs> Thrin, you hear Thrin kind of laugh at that. With that, however, there comes a bit of a problem there. I don't have my spell book. Well, where is it? The Mage's Guild has it. They took it from me after they defeated me 20 years ago. Well, let's go to the Mage's Guild. Yes. Uh, we'll have to take, we'll it, have to take it up with one of their leaders, the... Ah, Serial. We're already checking it up with them to figure out other potential solutions. We can bring up the issue of the book when we have that meeting. Which meeting? The one with... The one with the Mages Guild. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. All right. All right. Dion, Dion, you look... Ayla looks Ayla. Ayla. I understand, I understand. I understand your plight. And I understand that you really want to help the Shadow Kai, but... Immediately, there is nothing we can do because the only option you have immediately is to force him to go. And to be quite honest, if it's between my student and you all, I will gladly kill all of you except Searson at this current moment if you try something with him. If if Alar, and he said, and he continues by saying, but if those Shadow Kai die, I will personally kill him myself if that will save them. <laughs> and Aylor's eyes are like shining at this point as like stuff in the room is starting to float. And he says, but at the end of the day, at this current moment, I, I want to deal with this guardian now. Because to be quite honest, I am just as infuriated as I'm sure all of you are at all these people dying. And to be quite honest, I would love nothing more than to shove a blade through his chest. This is why I would love to get, I would, we need to, we need to start moving fast. Before more people, before more bodies start hitting the ground. You know, I don't want to be that person, but like I said, I did bring this up before. Yes, you did, Tate, but I didn't. But it was while I was gone, and I just now found out about this. And he glares at um Thrin in their wool. I wonder why. <sighs> and then he calms down, and then everything that was floating in the air drops back to the drops back to the ground. So, yes, I will, I will set up the meeting with the Mages Guild. You all keep helping the town, and they will get out. And they will just disappears. Go and get. And then Thren looks at, then they will, and then, and then, and then you see, um, Ayla glare at Thren, he says, get out. And Thren disappears. <sighs> um, this is. <laughs> I will go look into the ritual and I will go set up a meeting with the Mages Guild. You all keep doing what you do best and help this town. And then he walks out, on, he, he turns on a heel and walks out and he slams the door behind him, cracking it. Oh, yeah, please. I'm gonna go to peace. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Okay. And with that, what would you guys like to do for this month? What month is this? This is the fifth, the month. fifth month. All that happened in the fourth fucking month? Well, no, this was this was during the meeting at the beginning of the fifth month. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would like to <laughs> go carousing. All right. Amongst the lower class. Carousing. Yeah, like making contacts and shit. Okay. Gathering social. Um. Do I gotta no, roll? I 
Uh, yes, a charisma check, a charisma persuasion check. It's gonna cost you two. Are you gonna are you gonna carouse with the upper, lower, and middle class? Lower. Ten gold. Oh God, look okay. at Tate, what would you like to do? Oh yes, I don't know if I put it on there. I was going to, but I thought it might be too much. But I guess as we're doing the thing, I might as well do it. Um, I'm gonna write a letter. To? to my fam. Okay. Do you want to message me what this letter is gonna wants is gonna say? Uh, yeah, I have an idea. Well, I did have an idea before, but since after the meeting is slightly changed, so yeah, I'll type it. To, I'll send it to you. Gotcha. I got. 13 on that first roll. Uh, okay. Uh, see, so I'm, I'm trying to calm down right now. Oh, God. Yeah, you uh, had a whole ass argument with yourself. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm actually trying to calm down right now because I got heated with myself. Uh, <laughs> That's such a mood. Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, um, is everyone else good just before I continue on? Yeah, I'm no, fine. I was getting kind of angry because I was like, Nero, you being a, a dumbass I was pussy, like, and you I'm wasn't following what I fucking said the last time with your bitch ass. So, yeah, I'm gonna write this letter and call it. Gotcha. Also, it seems like it seems like Thrin's playing a game that playing a strategic game that is putting way too many people at way, way too many people at risk. It seems like Thrin is not Thrin is whoa. So you would. If that's Dion speaking, you can try if you want. Mm. Oh my goodness. Alright, ah, uh, God, ah, uh, carousing. Let me grab that real quick. Alright, uh, so you said you rolled a 13? Whitney. Huh? You said, uh, you said you rolled a 13? Mm-hmm. All right. You made one allied contact in the lower class. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm calming myself down. Do not. Anyway. Okay. Well, okay. So with, so that's, carousing is going to take one week. Do you want to carouse for all four weeks? Or uh, all five weeks? Yeah. All right, then roll for th four more times, please. Four more crazy persuasion checks. Just, just write that down, please. Um, Tate's gonna write that letter. Is there anything else Tate's gonna do for the rest of the month? Um, mm -mm, no. All right. Uh, Kaladin. <laughs> Gabe. He left. I don't know if he came back. No, yeah, he came back. I just can't hear him right now. Oh. <laughs> no, you're not. Because he's justified in how he's feeling. Because, like, you're telling him to basically die. And in any person, no matter how selfless it might be, would not want to kill themselves. Obviously. I, I, I still want to... I still want to help Nerul. Nerul. Also, it's spelled... N-E... Yeah, I, I thought so. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Because he still loses everything that's him. He explained this before. Like, he will lose himself and everything he is. He will no longer be him. Um, okay, okay. Maybe Gabe will... One more time, Roxy, because it was four more... Because it was five weeks. Oh, Okay. Hello, Gabe. Okay, Gabe. What do you want to do? Oh, um, carouse. Get magic items. Uh, if you're doing magic items, then uh, do you want to carouse for one week in magic magic item? You can take as many weeks as you as you want. I think up to a max of five. All right. Uh, but carousing takes one week. All right. I can carouse for a week. All right. Roll me a charisma persuasion check. Oh wait, upper, Ooh. lower, or middle class? Um, what would you say the majority of my contacts are already? The majority of Leo Wynn is 
the majority of your contacts are either lower or middle. All right, time for upper. Thanks, so... Lee. Since you know Searson, she knows enough contacts to help you with that. So roll a charisma Thank you, Searson. So roll a charisma persuasion check. Ooh, Sorry. persuasion. Me like you. supposed to spend 10 gold for that first one? Yeah. Oh, 10 gold. 10 gold for all the. 10 golds for all. 10 gold for each. If you're going to talk with the lower class for each carousing, it's 10 gold for each one of them. Hey, Keith. What? That's the nat 20 30 sound. Uh, that sounds like three new contacts to me. Sweet. I'll take it. God, okay. Ugh, I'm gonna have to rewatch this session to remember how many contacts you guys got. <laughs> Alright, um, actually, no, that can be vague. Like, actually, no, it doesn't specifically. Did I get um... Yes, yes. Um, Roxy, you have a charisma of plus five, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, for you, you. Okay, so that means you got. You said you got what again? Oh, yeah. I got. I right. got. Uh, it's in the chat. Yeah, let me see. Okay, 15, 16, 20. Okay, I think that's three. Con I think that's th two contacts for all of them. So you made a total. So you can only have six. So you have. You have six active contact. Wait, two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, you have six active contacts. And. And then three in reserve. Uh, I would assume so, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Trevor. Um, Alright. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I didn't mean to be distracted. No, you're, no you're, good. you're good. That was cute. My mic is acting up. Oh, my goodness. My headphones have been acting up. Mm. Cookie. Huh? I love you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what? What happened? Nothing. I figured you like that. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Okay. Um, Trevor, what are you gonna do? Trevor, what are you gonna do for your um for your time? Oh yeah. And then Gabe, magic item. How many weeks are you gonna spend on that? I guess the rest of the month. So three weeks. Sure. Uh, it's gonna take at least one hundred gold starting. Okay. So you can get a bonus. Okay. So God. God. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Magic item thing first. Magic item thing first. So, DM screen. Go back there. You can just do this later if you want. No, no, you're fine. I just gotta get my bearings back real quick. Um, Are you okay. calm now? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Just, I just found that. Gosh. Alright, I'm buying my... Alright, okay. ruins! Okay, so, you can have a maximum bonus of a plus 10 to a charisma persuasion check. It's caught, so it's you. So you get a plus one bonus for every work week past the first one, and you get a plus one bonus for every one hundred gold past the first one hundred gold you spend. So you said you're gonna spend the rest of the month. Yeah, so I guess that's three weeks. So that's so, so no, that's four weeks. So, uh, four weeks. So that's a plus three bonus from that. How many? How much gold are you gonna spend? Um. It was 100 gold per week, and then 100 more pl uh, for a plus one each time? 100 gold just to buy in, and then you can spend another 100 gold to get a plus one bonus. And how many times can I do that? Up to a plus 10. Currently, you have plus three. Uh, so, you could spend, so you could spend 800 gold to get a plus 10. Sure, why All not? Right. And that stacks onto my plus 10 persuasion modifier? Yes, and that also stacks on top of the plus 10 you get from being in a high magic world. <laughs> Alright. Okay. What was that sound? I'm wheezing. That was my... Semi-laugh. My... Sorry if that, uh, disturbed you. Alright, do that <laughs> for me, Gabe. Bar Trevor, bar. that's gonna take you four months. That's gonna take Wheeze, you... Wheeze, yeah. Trevor, Wheeze. that's, Trevor, that's right. gonna take you four months to do. So I have a plus thirty. Is what you're saying? Yes, you have a plus thirty. All right, let's see where this goes. All right, how does a forty-two sound? Forty-two. That sounds like that sounds to me like you barely scraped by for the maximum roll. <laughs> oh, okay. Forty-one plus. <laughs> oh damn! All right. Oh, so okay, so. So Trevor, I'm guessing that you're gonna make a, the other utility spell. So okay, in that case, that's gonna take two months. All right, I'll roll one d four times. All right, so, all right, so roll two times on this table. 
So. Okay. So. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Not that what, one. What, nope. what did I get? What did nope. I get? There we go. Okay. Hey, Gabe, you have. <laughs> so, Gabe, we have the rod of. Wait, wait a minute. What did I get originally? <laughs> Lockblade, I'm not giving you that. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm not giving any of you wish until you were at least higher level. Come on! Yes! Right, None come of you on. are getting wished that early! Why not? At, le at least put it in the... Like, put it like on the stockpile for me to get later. I'll take it. Hold on, I'm, I'm, staring, I'm staring at this right now, and I'm like, a lot of lordy, lordy, lordly might. What the hell is this? You want me to look it up? No, I see it. I'm just wondering what the hell I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and it was 800 gold for spending? Yes. Okay. All right. So, Gabe. Okay. Mm. So, so the two items on sale are the Holy Avenger and the Rod of Lordly Might. All right. So... Rod, the, um, both of which called cost forty thousand gold. <coughs> what? They're very rare <gasps> items. Jesus! All they, right. They were legendary that got bumped down to very rare, and both of them are forty thousand gold. I rolled, I rolled a four for both for both totals. Jesus Christ! Um, I guess I should, I, 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 I should look this up first to see which one I want. So you know, you know what the whole rod of? Okay, hold up, hold, right. hold up. Let me, let me, let me just grab the link. Hold up. All right. So, the Holy Avenger, which I'm pretty sure you can't use. Yeah, you can't because you're not a paladin. Damn it. And then... The, and then... The, so, so I guess Rod of Lordly Might is what I have to go with. It's 40,000 gold. I can afford that. You can afford it? Yeah, I have 50. Uh, wait, let me just, let me just check something, just make sure there's something real quick. Uh, okay, just to let you know, just see what this, does. <laughs> this is your last attunement slot. Oh, shit. Um, alright, so, what, that was what we want to let me know? Yeah, that was it. That, this is your last attunement right. slot. Okay, uh, I guess, uh, I guess go to someone right now, because I have to read this wall of text that is the rod of lordly might all right um well i guess we can well with that i think we're moving on to the next month now all right next small baby well, actually no you citizen christmas persuasion check you can add your prepared thing to it wait what did tate do this month tate wrote a letter to his family oh, okay. oh nice cute what is it I'm a fucking bitch. All right. Um. Okay. Um. God. Okay. Who would we? Okay. I'm trying to think. Which one is the Whitney? Mm -hmm. Oh. As you're walking through town, you see Nerul also walking through town, but you see him getting stopped by the Shadow Kai, who seems to be holding a little girl. Well, uh, does it seem like the girl doesn't want to be? Held? The little girl's unconscious. Oh no! I'm gonna go over there. What language do What languages do you know? I know common, infernal, goblin, and elvish. You hear him begging in elvish. Please, please save my little girl. She's going to die. And Ooh. and you see Nerul just kind of like back back up slowly, and he says, "I can't help you. You can. You're the chosen. You're meant to save us." You're meant to save us from everything. Hello? I'm not your savior. I never was. Please, please, she'll die. It's he, he doesn't know what to do. Nerul, oh. Nerul, you see Nerul just staring at at this father and his daughter, and he's just frozen there as he's just staring. Oh god. Uh I don't know what to do. I I I I slowly approach 
Fuck you, and, Dwarf, I, bro. and I say in Elvish, what has happened to her? She's wasting the guardian, the, the Shadowbringer. They're taking away the gift they gave us. They're taking away our life. <laughs> But he could save us. He, he's, he's meant to become the Arbiter. You could save us. That's what you're meant to do, right? I, I look at the rule and I look painstakingly. And you see the rule kind of take a step forward. It puts a hand on the girl's head for a moment. Uh, it's just Winnie there, um, and you see, and he just kind of stares for a moment. And Winnie, you hear a bit of whispers coming from the shadows. Okay. Can um, I understand it? You hear. This is the this is the last moment. This is all you are before you die. This is how you die, and this is how I am born. Oh, no. And you hear that as a far older Nervul's voice. <sighs> and, he, and you see his eyes turn purple as his hand starts glowing a bit. And you see the shadow card, and you see this young shadow elf girl's eyes open. And the father's ecstatic, and he says, thank you. Thank you. And then he rushes off with his daughter before Nerul just takes a deep breath. And you see that his you see that his breath is frozen as he lets it out. I I walk up to Nerul, but like I still kinda hesitantly put a hand on him, like on the small of his back. He kinda looks over at you. I'm going to die. Everything I am is going to die. We have to find something better. There is no other way. My fate, my destiny was decided a long time ago. This, this is, no one, and at the end of it, and he was right, at the end of it, no one, no one will care. <laughs> The... We've all been very heated these last few, few days, but I still consider you my friend. Hmm. And fate, prophecy, there is no other way. You see how these are all cliches? Hmm. I don't think it's going to happen. When it's happened so many other times, he looks down at you. It always finds a way. And then... And then he just... And then he just walks away. And I let him. And you hear... And... You hear the call of a raven. As he does. Oh, fuck no. And as That's the like month, the Harbinger? As the, as the month reaches its end, ravens start appearing... More and more in Leowen. I don't like that. As we reach the sixth month. Okay. Ah, uh, did I do good? I don't know what I was supposed to do. And there. this time, <laughs> and I, and the next meeting rolls around, but this time it's. And this time, it's just the core party and Alar there. Mm. Uh, uh, Tate. Tate. Hey. Yeah. You get a response to your letter. What the shit? Okay. What the shit? All it says is... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Will! Damn it! Nah! <laughs> Uh, it kind of undercuts the whole. He's been willed. God damn it! And I kind of undercuts the whole thing. Whatever. Oh shit! Oh no! The monster was willed. The whole. Funny, funny. 
<laughs> and it is currently it, as summer approaches, a lot kind of size. <sighs> Give me a we should be we should be here. We should be here. They should be here soon. They should be here soon. And as he says that, a portal rips open in the middle of the meeting room, and like at, like at the entrance of the meeting room. Oh boy. And through walks Leah Galonadel, you know, that wizard that you met before who scared the hell out of Aloy before they slightly became <laughs> friends. Slightly became acquaintances. <laughs> and you see this far older version of, not far older version of it, but an older woman that you can tell has some relation to her. And when they both arrive, you see Aloy sees the older one, and, you see, and for the first time ever that you've ever seen this, Aloy gets down on one knee and bows. Oh fuck. Downside. Like like Alar looks terrified as he gets down on one knee and bows. Hello, stranger. Leah kinda of smiles as well. It's good to see you all again, to see that you're well. And then Soyo and then Soyo kinda of looks down at Leo at uh at Alar and says Please stand, Alar. Uh, and Alar like slowly stands up. So, you all are the lions of Leowen, as it were. Yep, that's mm -hmm. us. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Sariel Galonadel. I am a member of the Eastern. I am a member of the Council of the Eastern Mage Conclave, and from what I understand, you all want. And then she pulls out of her bag of holding a book that is radiating magical energy. Ooh, what is oh, is that his book? Yep, this is Aloy's book, and he asks, "Kerrix, I, I, I got a brief just from Alar and Searson." As Aloy stands back up and like kind of like kind of like like wobbles back to the table. Fully like shaken, he says. But I'd like to ask, why do you want this back? Uh, to defeat the guardian. Is that all? There's no. There's no want to conquer the land, to make your own empire, stuff stuff like that? Fuck no. no. We just want to save the Shadow Kai. Oh, oh well then. She kind of like puts the book flat in her hand. Huh, all right then. I was, I was wondering, I was, I was wanted to see for myself. I wanted to see for myself. And then she kind of looks over at Kaladin and, and Trevor. I mean, she looks over at Kaladin and says, you're on the same boat there, correct, young man? Indeed. Kaladin, you're telling the truth, right? Yeah. All right, just check. And, you, and, you, and she nods. Good then. Next, next question. Because, like, I was just checking to make sure, because out of all of them, Ka Gabe would be the one who'd probably try to lie. Dude, I, I know when to lie and when not to lie. This is not a time. She nods slowly. So, the Guardian's, so the Guardian's making a fuss again that he's not getting his Chosen. And then Aloy kind of asks, wait, this happened before? Oh, yes. The Shadow Kai have died out. Hmm. Hmm. At least two times since my tenure? What? She, the Guardian always brings them back eventually, because brings them back eventually. He needs them after all. <sighs> okay, not that these people's lives do not matter, but how do they just keep coming back? <laughs> well, when your goddess is one that can just make them... They're still living beings. Yes. They feel things. They do. Yes, they do. Like. Oh no! Oh no! Well, I'm sure they'll. I'm, I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they find a good place in the afterlife. But for all intents and purposes, all the old Shadow Kai are dead. Do they? Elves reincarnate, right? Not the Shadow Kai. They are servants of the Raven Queen, and she chooses when um, they come back. Okay. No. Automatically sent back to the shadow cell where they belong. 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's all they know. They are beholden to the to the Shadowbringer, after all. But anyway, moving on, moving on. What makes this time different, exactly? What do you mean? What makes this time different that this is the, this will be the third time that they have died out. But I want to ask, what makes this one different? Because we care. Shouldn't that be enough? Does the Guardian want anyone specifically in the past times? Oh, he's gone after. He's gone after the Chosen. Whatever variation of Nerul it was, whatever variation of Nerul existed at the time. I actually, I actually met one of them. Rather nice, rather nice, rather nice one. Too bad what happened to him. Not as bleak. <clears throat> oh. I mean, uh... oh, every, oh, every, oh, every Nerul has some has some good quality deep within. Doesn't help that there always doesn't help that there's always that there's always that foreboding essence that they're going to die. Hmm. I mean, would you would you be all happy go lucky if I told you that if I told you that at some point in your life you're going to die and and lose everything that you and lose every part of you that's you and become someone else? Yeah. Yeah. So what what do we do with the book? Well, well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we need the book to summon counsel with the guardian to Get their side of the story on this aspect. Oh. She looks over at Aylar. I assume, I assume that she'll trap him and try to kill him if that's not the case. If he doesn't agree to stand down. Yes, that seems likely. Hmm. That would be the first time that non that non chosen have tried to take on the guardian. That would be a rather fascinating sight. She then tosses. The, she then tosses the book over to Aylar. Who catches it? He catch I wish you the, I wish you the best of luck in that regard. I truly do. You watching your progress has been fascinating. <laughs> Such confidence. Oh no. The fact that I'm the fact that I'm the fact that I'm here in the first place is my overwhelming confidence in you all. Mm. I there's something about you all. Something, something that reminds me of Aylor himself. You have an air of change around you. Change. And he looks over at, and then she's she's been listening to Trevor as he's been speaking as well. And she looks over at him and says, and she looks at him and says, "Yes, but how many people are you? How many people are you burying because of what you consider consider the greatest good?" I mean, how many thousands of people have already died because you saw their lives as worthless compared to the greater good? Ah, but how many people die because the Guardian dies, if he dies? How much, how much are you sacrificing? For, ex for example, for example, if I tell, for example, if I tell you that, mm, if you kill the Guardian, um, Leowin, if I tell you that, that if you kill the Guardian, Leowin will, will blow up. Everyone in the city will die. But, but Nerul's the Guardian now. Nerul's the Harbinger, and he will supposedly save, save the world. You're saving millions compared to the few thousands that live in Leowin. Is that worth it? These are people that you know, after all. Yes, yes but that's not true, is it? Do you know? But if he does, his death must be in a net positive outcome for all. Ah, but you're chancing that. You don't know that for sure. But there is no guarantee is the thing. You're weighing everything on chance. The chance that you'll win. The chance that Nerul will kill him. And the chance that Nerul will do what he's destined to do. And how many people are going to pay the price because of your chances? I only say I, say I only say this because I only say this because because at the end of the day you need to realize this that that realize this and Trevor while you're 
attitude is commendable. I mean, not Trevor. Ugh. I know. I keep. I saw his name and I just kept going. Dion. Sorry. <laughs> I meant Dion here. Dion. While That's impossible. Dion. While your while your attitude is commend. Yeah. Thank you. Dion. While your attitude is commendable, you will be putting bodies in the ground. You will be putting thousands, maybe even millions, in the ground just by what you do. And you need to know that and accept that, because. Because you can keep speaking around the point. But the thing is, is that no matter what, there is a cost. And thanks to me giving that book to Alar, you'll know that cost eventually. So, I, I think, I think that you have a high chance of winning. And I personally put all my faith in you. And I hope we do get to meet again. <clears throat> and but what I won't sit here and pretend like giving you all that book is the is the greatest good because someone could argue that the greatest good is just letting them die and because good is <laughs> good is one of the good is one of the most paradoxical things out there and seeing you all rush, and seeing you all trying to do good is, well, hopefully it won't break my heart to see it, break my heart, and po and hopefully it doesn't go wrong for any of you. Anyway, she then taps your staff, which opens the portal back up, back up. You have the book, uh, you have the book, um, I'll be leaving Leah behind here to look after things with Virno. And we'll see how, th and hopefully, and she'll report back to me and let me know how things go. I wish you all the best. And hopefully this goes well. And then she leaves. Uh, bye. <laughs> Leah just kind of watches her go. And Alar does too. Before Alar just gets to, and Alar just starts reading through his book. And I'm cutting that section, that will play section off there. As uh, the la actually, the last thing I'm gonna say here is that Alor rips out one page of the book and he shows it to you all, and it's th and it's the spell, plane shift. Mm -hmm. Plane shift. Plane shift. But there's something special about this one. Oh no, we don't come back. It has glitter on it. No, it has it has it has. It's greater. It has greater. It has greater written right above the title, and you see in red text, only, only for drastic purposes. Greater plane shift. Mm-hmm. Right, anyway, going back to helping out the town. Um. Is this the seventh month? Nope, six. That was all in the meeting for the sixth. This is still the si okay. <laughs> Your reaction is like, <laughs> um, I'm gonna work at the bakery. All right, give me a second. Ah. Working hard and barely working. <laughs> oh gosh. Working hard and hardly working. Uh, give me a second. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Um. I'll do that for the whole month. All right, let me give you guys the money that you guys earned. Another 10k coming your way. Wait a second here. Oh, we're getting more money? <laughs> it's the next. Yes, because I, I not give it at the. Yeah, I didn't give it at the beginning of the meeting. The money is yeah. Mm, yes, you didn't give us the money. There you go. Okay. So there's a lot. Um, okay. So I think you guys. Damn. Can fund, I think you guys can fund a lot more projects this time. Oh, wait. Hmm? No, we did get that money. No, you got that for Talasi. Or what was it? Oh, uh, Talsa. Are you sure? Yeah. Because Talsa was when he. Um... Well, that was like the exact same amount. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. Because you guys didn't buy anything last month. 
Oh yeah. So what do you, so what do you guys want to buy this month? Month. It's it's a flame tongue of that type, Gabe. Because flame tongue is a specific has, has specific variations. But all right. So moving on. Um. God. Okay, let me see. Could it be a finesse weapon at the very least? I think Flame Tongue is a finesse weapon. <gasps> okay. Because <sighs> it said there are multiple types and stuff like that, like rapier, short sword, and yeah, such. Fl flame Tongue can be a double can be a can be a double bladed scimitar, great sword, long sword, rapier, scimitar, or short sword. <laughs> Would you be willing to expand that to the to all the other weapons at the shop and stuff, or no? Yeah, sure. As long as they're sword. All right. <clears throat> all right. Um, moving on. Uh, what town building do you guys want to do this month? I want to buy a another workshop plot. All right. For uh, uh, all right, workshop workshop, cover, workshop plot will cost five thousand. All right, I'll pay off the whole thing, I think. All right, and then what do you? All right, you have any workshop plot? Yeah, I want to get a um. Hmm. We don't have an enchanter yet, do we? You have, you do have a runesmith, but they don't have a workshop for themselves. They have the smithy, and that's about it. The enchanter is fifteen k. Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, I'll do half of that, so seven thousand five hundred. Someone else like to pay the other seven thousand five hundred for the enchantry for the enchanter's workshop. Sure, why not? Alright. So, what was it? 7,500. Se 7, 7, Alright. Maths. Gotta do quick maths. God, it's interesting seeing this, this amount just keep raising. <laughs> uh, I think Gabe already spent the rest of it. Right. I have three... All right. Um, I will say that. Okay, let me think about this. I think combined, you guys all have over a hundred k, correct? At this point. In total, oh. potentially, I have fifty three k right now. I have thirty thousand k. Cookie. Um, I want to say it's embarrassing. No, it's only really like twenty five. No, it's only like twenty five. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because uh, you've been very helpful. All right, I will say that. Oh, do you want to build another bakery for your parents? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, um, that's gonna cost four thousand gold. Okay, I'll do two thousand. I don't want to pay the other half. Two thousand. Sure. All right. Oh, Dion said he's yeah. able to. I... <laughs> I was about to ask, like, wait, do I own like a portion of the bakery now? <laughs> well, it belongs to Whitney's parents, uh, so I that, know, I know. Basically, that's up with Whitney. Uh. I'm not Sarah, so I just like just joking. All right. Okay. Um. Although I wouldn't refuse. <laughs> um. I will say that three new th that three new thieves guild have popped up in town. Oh wow! There are now All four right. Well, th I'm gonna establish the rules here. There are now four thieves guilds. Um, All right. I'll go deal with them. Uh, there is there is a desire for um. 
due to the fact that you guys are making a lot of houses, people the people are starting to say that we need to set start set, we need to finally set up a lumber yard. Oh yeah. Uh, Skyscrapers. And start cutting down trees. Four thousand for that? I'll fuck it. Um I'll put down the 2000 Terrence will warn though that we that he will have to deal with the druids um dru I mean not the yeah the fae being slightly and druids being slightly miffed about that yeah but he's willing to but cut one down mm. yeah we could do that it takes a while for those trees to grow but that can yeah. work but yeah I put down 2000 for the lumber yard alright anyone else want to Anyone else want to pay the other two thousand? I feel like I feel like I'm going and like I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay it. Uh, yeah, I, I keep going first to like offering up. I know, right, girl? Chill out. I know you want you want to help the community, but stop. <laughs> yeah, I should be saving up for nice things. <laughs> um. I will say, due to all the due to all the people that are moving in, and how many shops there's now, there's been a merchant's guild is gonna is gonna spend money to is gonna spend money to move in themselves. Okay. Okay. And a smithing guild is gonna pop up too. All right. Um. I'm going to ask this now because I know that that was a thing people. Were, I know that was a thing that people were talking about before, the rune thing. Do you want? Do you guys want to do that this month? Like deal with the runes and stuff. I do, so I won't forget about it. All right. Also, I made a rune cookie. Where? It's it's uh, in the, player, in player the players' rooms. Oh, I gotta. Okay, it's fun. Couple you. That's the wrong. <laughs> Tate should make one too. Hey Keith, how much would a plus three uh, rune cost for a weapon? Uh, is that a very rare rune? Or an, uh, rare. I okay. think it's a rare one. <laughs> oh. Um, let me see. Uh, I posted this in the image chat. Okay, you're gonna need to buy a. You need to buy a 500 GP gemstone. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Because basically, basically, you guys have to buy gemstones, and then the then Volan, the runesmith, will turn them into rune stones. That it's that they, cute, right? It so, is. That, that they'll proceed to put in. Um, they'll proceed to enchant, make rune weapons, rune items with. Mm. So if I get a twenty, okay. okay. So it's five hundred gold, like base, and then. However much, the, they, yeah. However much they decide to right. charge you for constructing it. Okay. All right. Keep in mind. Might... Keep in mind, your attunement slots are all fit are filled, Gabe. So you need to grab ones that don't have an attunement. Well, I I mean the plus two because I already have a plus one plus one weapons. If I just apply a plus two to that, then they're plus three. No, remember, and I don't need no, to be attuned to those. No, remember, adding a plus two just makes it to where it's a plus two. All right. Well, all right then. A plus three, anyways. All right. Yeah. All right, in that case, that's yeah, that's rare. So yeah, five hundred GP. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll do that. Yes. I guess I'll do that. That's not. You're gonna have to be specific okay. what you want because he he will she will only in she will only. Put runes in them. She's not gonna make the equipment for you. Well, I already have. The, all right, I'm gonna I, give her not, my plus not, one. Not, not you, Gabe. I'm talking. Oh, okay, never mind. Me. Sorry. I know what you meant. All right. So, Gabe. All right. So, okay. Let's go top to bottom with this. Uh, Cookie. Yes. Okay. What rune? What runes do you want? Um, I was doing. Um, ten. This. Uh, wait, it, that was the name, right? Tempest. Yeah, Tempest, which in, which the variant that, that Tate will be going with, we'll call, I'll call Inferno, and I'll go put it on another page. Uh, but it's not... Hmm? <clears throat> wasn't, it fi wasn't it a fire version of that? Yes, but hold on, I need to send you something. Okay.
Okay. All right. That's that's gonna be on the sword, the short sword. All right. Uh, okay. So first thing, it, okay. So for the for the for the um, come back over here. For okay, since that's a legendary rune, that's gonna cost the gemstone is gonna cost you. Let's see. Five thousand gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it will take them. A, it'll take Volan two days to make the, to to make that rune. I mean, to, to put that in the weapon. Okay, so that's five thousand. What about the other one? How much is the armor one? The uh, one that's like plus three. Uh, let me see. Plus three. Uh, ar weapon armor points plus three. That's very rare. So that will cost you, uh, one thousand. Okay, so that, and that's going on, uh, leather. All right, the yeah. studded leather. Okay. All right, you can. So all together, that's six. Mm, yeah. Six thousand. Hey Keith, FYI, I'm I'm gonna take the rod of lordly might. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> Cause like even though the button two and three don't really apply to me, I can make do with button one for offense, sure, and then also, buttons four to six also, as utility. Noted. Also, Trevor, you don't attune to the longsword. Long plus one weapon plus plus something weapons and armor aren't attune aren't attunable. You just you just use them. Yeah, so that means you have two slots open. The Rod of, of Resurrection does require a tune with that, so. Um, okay. Uh, Gabe, what about yours? Mm -hmm. Are you getting any runes? Oh. Oh, right. Uh, plus three for um, my GN. Alright, that's going to cost you. What was it? Rare? That's one. Yeah, five hundred. I already subtracted it. No. Oh yeah, yeah, five hundred. All right. Now you have a plus three GN. Hell yeah. Um, seriously. Are you still do going for that specific thing we talked about? You never wrote it. Can you write down the description for what you want it to do? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Also, you're gonna have to spend. Uh, you're gonna have to spend. What is it? Um. Uncommon, so that's it's gonna cost uh, fifty gold to make that. No, that's the the rune option. It's the magic are, item that I just got. The runes are in Castle Leowin and Pody magic items. That's all you're getting. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, Whitney. Oh uh, yes. What rune would you like to get? The pie rune. All right. That'll be five hundred gold. Okay. Hold up. Let me just put that down. No. Put it on my shelf. Oh, back. One. Okay. Yeah. On my short sword plus one. Alright. How do I, um... Do I just say... Just put in the description of it, like the long line right below, say... When crit, like, just write down, like, like basically when I crit, um... I deal an extra... I deal an extra d6 of damage equal to half my level. And, um, Trevor, what are you trying to get? You mean this?
Um, all right, we'll discuss that later then. Um, besides that, uh, is there anything else you guys like to do for this month, or is this going to be more of like a downtime month? Uh, I was just going to do work in, in the bakery. Alright, um, in that case, since, since, uh, the bakery is now at regional level, that means that it now makes you, so you're going to be working for five weeks? Yeah. Okay, so in that case, Whitney, you and Tate will make 66 times 10 gold per work week, so that's five work weeks. So that's going to be 60, 66 times 10, then times all of that by 5. Just... Fourteen. Nineteen. I forgot how many times I rolled. I think that's the fifth one. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Then times that by ten. Okay, so that's three twenty, and then times five. That's one thousand six hundred. All right. All right. Um, I'm trying to think here. Mm. I rolled a lot of fives there. God damn. That's yes. That's wet. That's armor potency. That would cost you. That would cost you five thousand gold. Well, actually, no. It would cost you five thousand gold for the for the enchantment, and then it would cost you one thousand five hundred for the plate armor. So a total of six thousand five hundred gold. Gabe, problem with that. I know attunement and all that. Oh. I could just unattune myself to, like, from one of the things, if need be. Alright, um... God, I'm really trying to think here. Like, I, like, I have plenty of stuff to do, but it's like... Plenty of stuff that's left, but like... What do you guys want to do at this point? Hmm... <sighs> I'm kind of tired. Yeah. All if right. y'all want to do one more month, though, we could probably do it very quickly. Mm -hmm. 
All right, um, let me just add that. Uh, let me just give you guys your gold amount for that month. God, Perry's gonna come back to a giant ass gold amount. Too <laughs> so much gold, bro. All the gold. It's mine. And I'm gonna have to save up, cause L Rod of Lordly Might wasn't cheap. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, too bad I couldn't haggle. You know the He's worst part? Back to like Sixty thousand gold. Yeah. What's the worst part, Keith? If it was legendary, it would have cost you a hundred k. I'm guessing art. It has to be an Ooh. artifact. What? Like, because you said that since we're in a high magic uh, world, like, everything is, like, downgraded in terms of rarity. Yes. So, like, it had to be, it would be an artifact originally, but artifact, now it's just legendary. Artifacts don't downgrade. Oh. Artifacts. So then both legendary. There are no legendary. Oh. So then it's just artifacts then? Yeah, artifacts is the highest tier at that point. Okay. Next month. All right. As I said, that's how much gold you guys are getting. Jesus Christ. Hell yeah. No. This time and this time there's a lot of demand. So I'm just gonna say that so I'm just gonna say this outright. So first so things that people so things that people want. First of all, first of all, you have a lot of crafters here, but they have no materials that they're getting because there's no mines. Oh yeah, we need a mine. You need an, you need at least one ore mine and one and one stone you need at least one ore mine. Because you have several crafters that that need to rely on that. On top of that, on top of that, um, on top of that, uh, the runes, the ru the the runesmith guild has ruined, moved in, and they want an arcanist guild to move in as well. No, but if you want enchantments on your stuff, they want it. Okay. You said we needed one ore mine and what else? And okay, you just needed one other mine. You needed an ore mine. You needed you, mostly people asking for ore mines. Um. But, but the but one of the guilds is asking for an arcanist guild to move in. Hmm. Okay. Do you Business. want do you want runes, Trevor? That's what they're offering. Either either you give them an Arcanist guild, or they move out and you get no runes. That's basically what they're basically what they're saying. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pay. That's we're all a fan of runes here. I'm gonna pay the two thousand <gasps> for the ore mine. All right. And also, I want to. How much is an Arcanist Guild? Uh, an Arcanist Guild is, um, fifteen. Yep, fifteen, fifteen thousand. I'm gonna pay seven thousand five hundred for that. Would anyone be willing to pay the other seven? Nope, ten thousand. All right, you're gonna pay ten thousand. Oh, that that leaves five thousand then. I'll play. I could pay. Um, I could pay it. The rest of it. Uh, the five thousand, or I can pay for the. Tell you what, I'll pay uh two thousand. I'll pay three then. All right. All right. So now I'm down to nineteen k. Down to thirty nine. Um, and I was also thinking, should we get a clay mine? Because I can pay for that like very quickly. Might be a good idea since you might get ceramic people moving in soon. Yeah, I'll pay a thousand, and there's two thousand left. Two thousand left to pay off. Yeah, uh, because the clay mine is three thousand. I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyone else want to pay the other two thousand? All right, Dan yeah, will pay for what's left. So that's the new clay mine. That's nice. Because clay is good for people who craft. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's all I think, unless anyone wants to propose any more. 
projects. I think I'm... Yeah. Alright. No one else has anything else they want to buy? Well, I think I'm going to start saving up now. Right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, what prison? Wait, I just remembered. Uh, well... That depends, because that depends on on uh, if anyone accepted the offer. Offer for what? Trevor wanted to Trevor wanted to turn prisoners into a labor force, basically. Oh. Mm. How much would a a very rare rune cost again? Five thousand. Five thousand. Wait. No, 1,000. Legendary. Legendary is 5,000. Alright. Because I might get a plus 3 to my AC. Hmm. Would I be able to get a pr uh, Pride Silk outfit? What rarity is that? Uh, it is... Where is it? Silk. It's the uh, it's adventuring gear. Five hundred gold. Oh, explorer's guide to wild mount. Yeah. I'm sure. gonna save all after I buy one last thing. All right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna just buy the whole tinker. Three thousand. Tinker. Tinkerer's shop. Uh, e yeah. Okay. Do we? Do I need to buy a plot? No, no, no. You're fine. Okay. And now I'm at thirty-five thousand. Okay, so. But I'm gonna stop there. Good, cause you guys are, cause you guys are four thousand, or like three thousand three hundred away from making twenty thousand a month. Damn. Crazy, bro. Hmm. All right. God, if only I had the money that fucking Whitney was waving around right now. And she <laughs> you, you are quite literally the one percent. I'm literally the one person. <laughs> uh, this is I wanna, great. I want to make one of those like memes, like the "I am the man" meme. Mm. You know. Alright, um... God. Tate, I'm sorry, your girl is a spendthrift. <laughs> what happened? I st <laughs> I spent a lot of money to help the town, but I'm saving now. I'm stopping now. <laughs> uh-huh. I have 35,000 right now, so that's pretty damn good still. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm stopping for now. <laughs> Alright, Cookie, I'm gonna mess you something. Okay. Uh, uh is this how much we got? Yeah. And I spent a whole lot of it. <laughs> She's an angel, so no. Hold on, I'm just adding up the the gold. Yeah, because like, angels have natural armor; they don't wear armor. All right, just writing a reminder: get plus three rune for studded leather armor and pride silk suit. What? Ugh, give me a second. He better not be doing what I think he is. What? What's happening? Is car doing Alfredo? I swear uh, to fuck. Uh, I've seen him do. I've seen him the effects of Alfredo on him. It was entertaining. God. That boy. <laughs> no, he's not Alfredo. He's not? No, because I don't have anything here that has Alfredo in it. Good. What if he snuck some in? He didn't. What? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, did you just jump Smuggling over? Alfredo.
car? Did you what? jump over the fence? I'm not even in my car yet. I was about to say. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Jumped over the fence. Fuck you. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um. Okay. Well. Okay. Cookie. Well, we're at the six month, I think, right now. So, I think. Okay. Do you want to just save it for next time, or? Yeah, that's fine. All right. God. <laughs> All right. Um. I will say that Sorry. with that, no, you're good. I will say that with this coming month, um, Thrin, for those of you who that see Thrin, he gets very excited as he has a bit of a smirk. As, he, as, he, as you, as like, I would say that as Kaladin, actually no, Wendy and Kaladin, at random moments when both of you pass by him, at some point you hear him say, it's all coming together. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> It's Put it's like um, it's like Hannibal Lecter saying, "All of this is my design." <laughs> and he, and then actually no, Kaladin, as he's walking past you one of these times, he says, "Don't you love it when things that you plan turn out exactly how you want?" Yeah, it can be pretty satisfying. <laughs> uh, yep, I've been uh, the game that I've been playing is near. I'm about to get one of my core players for the game I've been playing for so long. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Water. How wonderful. Oh, and, all, nice. and all it'll cost is one person. Eh. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure Ellison will be heartbroken over it, but mm, sacrifices must be made, he says as he keeps walking. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just has a smile on his face. He's walking forward. I mean, I do, I do have a legendary item now. Hmm. Do you want to try? Later. Right. And I'm, he's going to keep walking away. And then he got paused for a moment. He says, if I think, if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, it would be a bad idea. Well, maybe I plan for this. And I'm not going to react. He turns on his heel. And for a brief moment, you see his eyes are white as he just gives a smile. As in just pure white? Yes, like Light Brother White. Am I? And he just smiles. Just make sure that you're willing to. Fl just make sure that you're able to, able to do it when it comes. And then he leaves. And that's where I'm going to end the session. Jesus. That was fun.